right. We are live. We are recording. Oh, where's my mini? What? Where's my mini? He's around. I don't know. Over here like... on the side of the table. Yeah, it's, the not in front of, it's not in front of my, 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 oh my nameplate. Then pick God. it up and take it there, you... Why? Somebody Low system you. resources may affect my audio quality. Uh, shit. Do I have to do that? Stand by one second, guys. I, I, and of course, we're live while I'm trying to do this. I may have too many things open again. I do have a few things open I don't need. NVIDIA, go away. Ubisoft, go away. Zoom stays. You might want to close guys. down the Star Trek. I don't have Star Trek open. Epic can go away. Permanently. No. Why would I close that F permanently? No, I mean, literally... Epic games can go away permanently. Uh, actually, I what? need it for one game I currently have installed, and then my son uses it for one or two other games. This is amazing content for the viewer watching right, our right? stream right now. But It's owned by China. <laughs> I, I can't do anything about that, Rev. I know that, but I can... I can you can certainly box. bitch about it, absolutely. I bought exactly one game on the Epic Games platform, and that was Outer Worlds. And... Ah, yes. um. I got so tired of dealing with it, I freaking bought it on Switch and I played it on Switch instead. <laughs> or, or, or Steam or something, I played it on a different platform. I literally rebought it because I was tired of dealing with Epic Games. Yeah, Epic Games is... I mean, spyware? No, I, it's it sh maybe, I don't know. It yes, probably it is. I don't, I'm not gonna listen. I'm not. I don't know myself, so I'm not going to say that. Okay. It didn't. It didn't start off that way, but then Tencent basically took over Epic. Oh so, uh -huh. yeah, I know Tencent is a problem. I've had problems with that in the past. I'm not gonna go into all that right now, but you do realize we're on Discord, right? Or not? Which is which is but... which now is has a decent chunk of owned by Tencent. But yes. uh, but they haven't installed the same sort of bloatware spyware that they have on the Epic Games launcher. Okay. At any rate, welcome, my friends. Welcome back to the Greek Dominion. I am Omar Krieg, your Lord and Commander of the Krieg Dominion, and your host for tonight's events: Warhammer Forty Thousand, Rogue Trader, Tithes of Akron, and sometimes we have to listen to Rev run his mouth about something, and it's probably about a fifty-fifty about whether or not he's accurate or right. Okay. Well, actually, yeah, just Rev. This is episode eight of Segmentum First into the Maw, and with me are, of course, my wonderful Grimdark players: Rodance, Alterios, Warner, Darius, and Rev. And the order that I just said those in probably does not match up with the screen, not even close. But let's take a moment to briefly check in with the players and see what they've got new and exciting for them, and then we'll get started with whatever it is that we're doing tonight, which I may have alluded to in various other places. Let's see. Rev, you're at the top left on my screen, so let's go there. Rev, let's get the evil out of the way. What's new and exciting for you? Ready to go. Do we have an evil? ad read? No, not tonight. Evil? I don't really? know. Really? Evil, weevil. I may have said one and meant the other. I'm just I'm just eager to see Jeffrey practicing his deadpan. <laughs> <laughs> his deadpan. It took me a second to go with, to figure out where you were going with that, but I got it now. He has, let me see, I did give him a weapon that, uh, let's see, Ogren Frying Pan, 1d10 plus 4, plus 6 total because of his strength bonus, and 2 pen. He will smash the fuck out of you with it if he gets close enough. Um, if he, if he becomes a regular on boarding parties, Warner, we need to get him a, um, um, a more suitable weapon. Oh, that's not his only weapon. You'll see when you when you when he comes to the boarding shuttle what his what his other weapon of choice is. He's got a cleaver. <laughs> He's got a cleaver. <laughs> He's got a ripper gun. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, a ripper gun is what I want to get for him. I think you'll appreciate what he has. Rev, you got anything else? Um, not tonight. Just um, you know, everybody down in Florida, man. What's Florida? What what's Florida? What's Florida man done this time? They're being rocked like a hurricane. By a hurricane. Ah yes, Hurricane Helene, I think. Yep, Helene, or I thought. I don't know. I saw the Helene. name once or twice, and I don't know how to pronounce it. I listen. If you know me by now, you know that English I sometimes struggle with. Or Gudio. That's not English, and I definitely struggle with that name. <laughs> 
Darius, fucking help me here, man. Oh, man, I don't even know how far into the show we are already. I'm already dropping the F-bomb. Darius, help me out. What's new and exciting for you, man? Well, I just went through a trial of position in Battletech. Yeah? Did you win? And I killed one of my enemies before it got turned into a shit show. So what I'm Go hearing on. is you did not complete your trial of position. Yeah, I did. I killed one of my enemies. He still yeah. achieved rank, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. Mech Warrior. He, he's, probably sitting there going, he's probably sitting there going, I really wanted Nova Commander, but shit. <laughs> so was this TTRPG um, or a digital? Yeah. What was the... What was uh, the... This, this was uh, tabletop in Roll20. Okay. Okay. Ah. What system is was it? Uh, a time of war. No. Or just straight BattleTech ish. Just just BattleTech. Okay. It was just a for fun thing. God, what era? Up. Roll twenty, not Mega Man. I'm but actually a little surprised the, by that. The other person going through the trial with me ended up killing two of his. And then my second. Ah, ah so he Jesus. is. So he's a Nova captain now. I, no, I'm making shit up. I'm star not captain. Sure. Yeah, star captain would be more accurate with three kills. It, well, it depends on it depends on if that Talman uses the Nova commander and Nova captain ranks, because not all of them use it that way for uh, leadership positions. I mean, um, not know, leadership. I think there's only two clans that use the Nova captain and Nova commander position. Yeah, as far as you like your trial of position, because. No, trial <laughs> position, you don't get Nova at all. Uh, okay, okay. But yeah, there's it's only a couple of counts. It's just Mech Warrior, Stark Commander, yeah. Stark Captain, and then Stark Colonel. Yeah, and it's really, if really get hard to get Star Colonel. I think I think in the lore, only one person, possibly two, have ever made Star Colonel in, in a trial of position. And, one, and at least one of them cheated. Well, cheated. Because it requires another contestant to give up one of their one or more of their kills in order for that to happen. Well, it's not cheating if you steal it from them. I think that it depends on the clan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not uh, Natasha Kerensky was one, and I believe not Diana. Uh, somebody in the Falcons, I think. Right in. Huh? Aiden Pride, I believe. It might have been Aiden Pride. It was somebody relating to not Aiden had to fight with Freeborn because he screwed up his trial and then he trialed mm -hmm. again. Yeah, I don't I, listen, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't remember all of the details, but I I'm I know Natasha Kerensky is the only one that like I guess under the most closest to the rules is the only one that did, but Aiden Pride, I guess, got super close insofar as how you want to interpret what's allowed and what's not. His sister stabbed him in the back. <laughs> At any rate, Warner! What's up? Uh, since I have a table full of fucking clanners, maybe one day we'll actually play Battletech again. I don't know. Warner, what's new and exciting for you? Well, interesting you should ask, because uh, this week I am getting my... Uh, BattleTech campaign up and running again oh. with my uh, Thursday night crew. Oh, nice, nice. Is that going to be in person or online? It is an in-person thing. Okay. So there's no way for me to shoehorn my way into that, is there? <laughs> Sadly, there is not. Unless you want to <laughs> show up in the middle of Illinois, uh, we're no. surrounded by corn, 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 and more corn. We're blood not for the oh, blood god. Soybeans over there. Blood for the blood god corn or <laughs> yellow shit growing out of the ground corn. <laughs> yes, <It's> yellow ship. <laughs> you know, I really want to make that. Makes that everything corn. humid for a brief period in the year. Children of the corn. Children. Well, no, hold on, because that <laughs> could be corn furies <laughs> <laughs> and various other, you know, blood letters and blood seekers and. Blood spawns. I don't know what else. I'm sure there's blood. Blood spirit. 
That's blood everything is brings a, brings a whole new definition to a corn breeding program. <laughs> what do you call a world eater that never shows up on time? A wait period. A cornflake. Cornflake. Uh... Okay, yours was far better because mine probably irritated half the known universe. But I'm good half? at that. Uh, Alterios. Let's kill this yeah. awkward silence that I just generated. What's new and exciting for you? <laughs> uh, a hurricane. Are you in it? Or near it? Uh, it, it will make landfall about 2 a.m. my time. And roughly, where are you? Uh, it's roughly 10 o'clock, so about four hours from now. We're asking location, Yeah, your, phys time. your geophysical... Oh. Like, don't give uh, me Florida. your latitude and longitude or a street address, but, like, roughly, where are you? <laughs> um... Don't even give a city man. Just how close is the Uh, it's in the panhandle. I'm not. I'm not too close to that, but we're still getting a pretty big. Oh, you're gonna get. Yeah. I was gonna ask how close. You're getting plenty. I was gonna ask how close the eye you were, roughly expected to be. Uh, the eye is hitting in the bend. Um, we are a distance south of that. Um, we're closer to Tampa. Well, uh, we're still best we're, of luck. Our storm surges are still predicted to be about uh, ten to twelve feet. So Ooh. that's not a small amount. No, it is not. Isn't that like the entire um, you know amount of above ocean level that is Florida? <laughs> it's, oh, it's what well, isn't there like some parts of centralish Florida that are like a little mm -hmm. bit higher than ten or twelve feet? Yeah, <laughs> only a couple. Yeah, I mean we're not talking mountain peaks either, but. Uh, on the real though, best of luck for enduring that bullshit. I almost made you a pun. Be fine. The water, <laughs> best of luck at weathering that bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hopefully that uh, isn't so bad. Hopefully you don't end up like Rev did a couple of months ago with Hurricane. Uh, was it Irene? I forget which one. The one that went through this last summer. They like all a few sort of blend ago. together. Yeah, I. I wish that weren't the case, but yes, they do. Uh, Rodance! What's new and exciting with you, my friend? Well, this is my fourth game in two days. Because okay. that's just how I structure my Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So, I've had, I've eaten a Psy Lance off of a Grey Knight. I had my own staff sergeant shoot me through the chest attempting to save another Marine, and they died anyways. And then I had to turn around and, you know, patch my space chute so I didn't asphyxiate. And then the queen died. That was great. That was a... This oh, man, morning, I, just... I, uh, we decided to go uh, hunting um, guard patrols because the uh, cult that took over the government is uh, soon to be overthrown because I take extreme hostility to them. So I now have uh, my estate in this town, this uh, town of damn fears, vampires, and other miscellaneous undead. It's actually underground. My estate has a wall of spikes around it that are now sporting heads. And we are going to continue adding heads until we overthrow the cult government. <laughs> so yeah, I had to, we had to um, ambush several groups of people and add their heads to my spiked collection. So yeah, that was this morning. So when to see what how it goes today. What game are you? Uh, yeah, what game are you playing Wednesday morning? Pathfinder. Okay, gotcha. All right. Well, the only I, I, I am sorry. a cleric too. Nice. Just not an evil god, which makes it even more amusing. <laughs> well, the only exciting thing I've got going on, other than the fact that I was this, I'm not even joking when I say this. By the way, this close to getting a TPK on my alien crew last night. Uh, oh, oh! I just got to remind you. Uh huh. No, you didn't. Fight God, kill. Ha ha. <laughs> no. You keep going on about how you want to kill us, so I have to put that in there. Every no, you time. do. You do. So, I... so Rodian, just a quick question. So, you're saying that your Wednesday mornings are filled up with clerical work? No. You know what? Darius That's... made a really good, well-timed arm motion because on my screen, he's sitting next to Rev. And when Rev made that clerical work comment, his arm went out like this, and it almost looked like he was trying to backhand him and tell him to shut the fuck up. I saw that, too. It was funny. 
<laughs> Cheers, Darius. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, that was a great birthday present. Yes, today is my birthday. 48 Happy years ago, birthday. my parents birthed the legend. Uh, and then I birthday. devolved from there. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. That, that means I'm monkey. not the oldest person here. I don't think you ever were. Am I crazy? I thought I was older than all y'all. Always. You are. I, thought, I mean, I thought I always was. I just didn't know that. I mean... Oh, got you. This is confirmation, is what I'm hearing. Hey, Omar. Yeah. A birthday boy is always welcome Shut to the shield. fuck up. Fuck you, Rev. I'm, oh my god, I'm so over that goddamn line. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Thank UGM you, Thank you Warner, you. for actually trying to give something close to an actual sincere happy birthday comment instead of a birthday boy like you is always welcome at the motherfucking sh show. Yes, yes. A Happy birthday, Omar. Thank Happy you, also, just so we're clear, uh -huh. I am planning on killing you in Pathfinder. That's fine. That's the point fair, of the game, I didn't isn't say it? Like you or MFR. <laughs> <laughs> Previously on Ties of Akron, before this dissolves into some more bullshit, in search of a lost treasure ship, the Righteous Path, the crew of the Akron Ferry have made their first warp travel and have arrived in what they hope to be is the Hermitage. Encountering a severely damaged pilgrim ship being used as trap, excuse me, used as bait by some pirate raiders, the crew of the Akron Ferry. Having already eliminated one enemy ship, plan now to board the second vessel and turn the hunter into the hunted. So, I am going to immediately skip us to the, uh, what sort I want to use here? We are already in the hangar bay of the opposing ship. Unless there is a reason for us to do something before that. Am I crazy? Any any objections to skipping straight to we are here in the ship? No. Okay. Neg. Who besides the actual crew crew, uh player crew? Let me rephrase this question so it might actually make sense because English is my first language and I should start acting like it. Other than the player characters, who's coming along to raid this ship? Um, well, I'm assuming that the Seneschal is staying behind to captain the ship in our absence. Sure. Are you bringing the Navigator? Um, I no. feel like the Navigator would stay on the ship that they're navigating. Okay. Well, that takes out my two not-quite-player characters of my own, but go ahead. I'll play Jeff, I suppose. I figured you would. <laughs> why, why are we I guess we bring that squad of dudes that we had... Oh yeah, Manjo already action squad. Right. Mm -hmm. I did mention them last session, so I assumed they were coming. All right, I let's be clear on how many people that is. Um, that was just five. That uh, can be wrong. I'll give you five, and your Sergeant Cassian. Five's a fire team, right? Four technically, but. I was like, Warner, you set up the you set up the rotations. How many? Oh, I set it up according to the old Byzantine schedule. Where you know, a a squad of ten. Yeah. Oh, you want to? Okay, all right. You want a squad of ten? I will give you a squad of ten. That includes two sergeants, a lieutenant, and however many seven, I guess, grunts. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Sergeant and your lieutenant. Hey, these are Kazakhan models. All right, there are your armsmen. Anybody else? Jeff is over here too. And if you mouse over him, you'll see what he's carrying. Jeff is where? Uh, he's by my nameplate. If you Let's okay, what... just for clarity, this is your guys' shuttle or landing craft or whatever right here on this map. Okay, so let me. Okay, swap I, I see Jeffrey. It's Jeff. Just Jeff. Jeffy. Okay. Go ahead and 
Jeffrey so, the Sheffery. Jeffrey the Shut up, bro. Jesus Christ. All right, so you have arrived. Rev didn't even start that one. Jeez, I, I, I'm a little offended that Rev keeps getting all of my credit. <laughs> what happened? What did I miss? Oh, I just have a talent for saying it louder. That's all. Is that what it is? Yeah, that, that actually makes sense. Okay. It's Rev um, explaining. Also, by the way, I am going to... When I'm setting this initiative order up, your uh, guardsmen are all going to act in one go. All right, in this spot. So when it's there, so instead of having like 77 friggin' people on the initiative tracker, your guys, your uh, armsmen will all act at once, kind of like Warhammer tabletop. Well, that was how you had the enemy squad act, so. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'll have, like, one or two of them, depending on what your opposition is. Um, all right, let me see. Who do we got over here? We got our guardsmen. We got Jeff. We got Icaro, or Jace. We've got Karos. Let's get Reinhardt. And I, unless uh, Winter is staying on the ship, is Winter joining the fray? I, I assumed Winter was coming. I yeah. assumed she was I mean, well. I feel like I'm the equivalent of a walking radio system, so... Rev was making a Game of Thrones joke. I was. Okay. You are allowed to deploy on either side of this shuttle, but your limit is going to be no further than the front of the shuttle. So basically from, like, there and there. One inch equals one unit of movement, range, whatever. Once you guys uh, have... So it's not a grid... Yeah, no, the, the what you see as a grid is the is basically just floor tiling. Um, once you guys have figured out where and how you want to deploy, I will then place your opposition because obviously you're going to have opposition. So these blue crates here, those are, all... are those. All right, go ahead. Is behind them within range of how far we can deploy? No, it's the front of the ship. Okay. So basically, the next tile towards us. Okay. Can we just call the back side of the shuttle the dice box and just refer to it as dice boxes south or something? Yeah, yeah, the dice box. So yeah, the south or down. South. We'll call it south. Is this a traveler map? It's not a traveler map. It's I oh. made it in incarnate. Oh, okay. It, it kind of looked like a traveler map. That's. Well, I tried to make something that resembled a uh, a hangar deck. <laughs> I've it lost. Tra I've just, lost. I just... I've lost track of me again. I, you're over here. Uh, I'm really, okay. really bad at drawing with the pen tool, but I, I hope you guys I believe, can see the difference. I, oh, I see what you did. Um, I believe if you use the shift button, you can get a straight line out of it. Uh, by the way, these round bits, these rectangular bits, these square bits, those are all crates or barrels or something of that effect. They're, you know, cargo containers of some sort. These gray things with yellow boundaries on them are more like mechanical lifts. And this... <clears throat> like what you wear in your shoes. Sure. And this is your exit point. It will take you from this map slash level to the next level. Where was that? Can I again? It's kind of hard to see your ping on the... Ah, okay. Yeah, I wish I could make the pings larger. Everyone head towards my face. <laughs> so, are you saying it's that uh, gray box over by Rev's nameplate? Yes. Mm -hmm. Somebody write exit on that spot, because I'm tired of writing letters already. <laughs> I just wrote cardinal directions, and I'm already tired of writing letters. <laughs> That's why I'm laughing, because of that, yeah. I'm just bad at drawing letters, okay? <gasps> How do you get the type thing? Uh, there's a type. By there's a text the box. Text, text button. The the T button. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't know why I didn't even think about that, but now that she's crying about it, I'm like, I want to laugh at her, but also it's my fault because I should have known better. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, Ro. <laughs> oh, um, oh, oh, oh. My, um, I didn't realize this until now, but my chat window is actually covering up the bottom several buttons of the bar on the side. That's why. There's a way to uh, move it, but I forget how. <laughs> just typing exit in that general vicinity is close enough. Um, the other thing I was going to mention that I forgot to say, these barrels, these uh, rectangular and square crates, will give, based on their size, something like two, four, six, or eight um, additional armor points as cover. The big gray squares with the yellow corners on them, they are all down. Like I said, they're mechanical lifts. They're all down, and they're not going to give you coverage of any sort. Just like my cell phone service. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Rodance, why did you put a U at the top? Are you talking about this character thing that she drew? Supposed to be a, yeah. supposed it was to be supposed to be an N. N. Oh. I, I, I said by handwriting in the drawing it was atrocious. Yeah, that's what she was trying to do. There you go. But yeah, now that we figured out now that we've figured out slash some most those of us that shouldn't have known better remembered that there's a uh, text button option. They figured it out. And you can imagine the red light on the top and the sides are actually red spitting lights of alarming. Roxanne. Or you know what? Maybe it's some oh I'm just red light say. district. Yeah, everything's twenty percent off, including your brain. Duh. <laughs> I mean the the mechanicus would take that seriously. I got nothing. I got nothing, man. <laughs> Are you guys set up? Are we still repositioning? Would... It's how they make twenty percent off, I'm guessing you're Saying that there are no happy endings. Oh, Omar, it's it's how they it's how they make servitors. They take twenty percent off your brain. Oh, I get it now. Okay, are you guys set up? I am. Oh well, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in a recliner. I don't know if you'd call that set up. Met your figures on the table. Come on, man. We have a show yes. to run. <laughs> uh, well, I'm gonna obviously we haven't set up any of the NPCs, and I can see that Akaris and Winter are still in their initial. Yeah. They are. Dropped on the table places. I want you to imagine that the movement and positioning that you're doing is what you're capable of accomplishing before all of a sudden the enemy appear. Or you may not okay. have been initially aware of them and now you are. Once you Look, I really wanted to finish labeling the directions, okay? I finally figured it out. You're good. You're good. This isn't me trying to rush you or anything. I feel like Rev was in that case. Uh, that's too far north for these guardsmen. Oh. Armsmen. I was just saying who hadn't moved their characters aside from NPCs. Just Yeah, just, this, just, just for clarity, this line. That's the line. Yeah, that's right. the line. Or, and you also have the other side, too, by the way. I know you probably want some uh, coherency, I believe. Is that the actual term? Coherency? Coherency. Pieces. For, for the tabletop? What, what? How are you using that term? <laughs> you want your units close to each other, so coherency. Although I think coherency is usually the, the base has to be with it, what, one inch of the next model of the same squad or whatever? We want our units consolidated. Is that what I'm thinking? Is that the word? Consolidation? I believe so. It's, it's, I, listen, I've played exactly zero games of War, so... Well, it's not necessarily a Warhammer term per se. Well, it it might it might it might actually be a tabletop term that he's trying to think of. And not it, it might be. I don't it, think it's it's either coherency terms. or consolidation, or maybe consolidation is the stage where you make sure all your units are coherent. This is pretty incoherent. Let's just play. It, it is. All right, are you guys ready? Think so. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are we using inches for the uh, distance or uh, grid? Inches. Units. Inches. Okay. Yeah, how many is that? Okay, I give you a squad of 10, plus 5 Hitler characters, and Jeff, so that's 16. Somebody wanted to verify that there's 16 of you down there? I think that sounds right. Yeah, there's 16. 
Cause you're gonna get your shit rocked now. Sing it with me. The elevators are actually gonna have turrets on them. Sing it with me. He's out in the open, so I don't want to come in. I'm gonna put you know, him on. Am there. I, like, the only one who decided I really wanted to hug, like, cover over here? I, I put myself there because I'm supposed to, I'm pushing for the cover in front. Okay. Also, I thought he said we couldn't go that far over. Uh, I don't believe I gave limitations to the side, just the forward part. I, I Although, you I know, thought... I did mean that, like, if you notice... Well, it's too late. It doesn't matter. You're good there, if that's what you wanted. Yeah, if you wanted us to abide by an arc deployment, then you should have put down an arc deployment. No, I should have. <laughs> Uh oh, failed, failed to load, load failed, failed to load, load, failed to load. Failed to load. I can yeah. see it. Oh, it's those models again. That's I can why. see it. I can, I can see, see like five models on the table, on the opposite side of the table. Are they indeed? But are they? They say pirate armsmen. They got they got white helmets and bronze boulders and. Okay, they also have stats attention. when you hover over them. Yes, they do. Not for hovered. Me. Eighteen wounds. Four terabytes of carapace chest plate. <laughs> That's a lot of gas. What did you say? Four terabytes of... It says four TB, so I said oh, four terabytes. It's four toughness plus their armor, if I'm not mistaken. Let me, hold on, let me mouse over one of them real quick. Uh, yeah, four toughness bonus, and then the carapace chest plate with their armor, armor stat. All right, I'm breaking these guys into squads. So give me just a second, because I got to rename them slightly. Hey, Omar, how come pirates have carapace and not flak? Uh, because I'm using some stats that I took out of the book. All right. Because they're incredibly well-equipped pirates. Listen, they maybe, maybe they had on a good... the ship. So that they could afford the... Right? <laughs> it's like, we're better equipped than Imperial Guardsmen. Are they? Yes. Yes, Guardsmen notoriously wear guard flak. Hold on. What's guard flak? I mean, I mean, our armsmen have carapace as well, so like... Yes. Not... Our, our special team has carapace. Okay. I thought, I thought our special team only had flak, honestly. <laughs> No, I th I thought we we we. I, I wanted to to put in a special order for carapace for our our teams at some point. Well, it says nah. carapace right now, so unless you want them to just take it away, then. No. Yeah, I'll take all the armor away and they'll be naked. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not gonna. The do that. shock value will have the pirates lose a fucking turn. <laughs> yeah, saying, they I'm, have to make a morale check to stick around. I'm saying I'm like I'm willing for our our armsmen to have flak if theirs do, but like. Otherwise, I think they're. I, yeah, I think they're all wearing the same armor. Yeah, the the stats on our guys and their guys are identical. Yeah, so I think it's fine. The only difference is there's one that's significantly different than all, than the other fourteen or fifteen. Oops. I wonder one of these which things one is could not be. like the other. I'm guessing that the heavy gunner doesn't belong. Correct. <laughs> oh. It's it's a fucking stubber. Yes. He's got a big minigun. Yes, he does. He has the 40k equivalent of a 50 caliber machine gun. It's Actually, got... heavy stubbies. No, I'm kidding. Well, I'm, I'm also going to retcon what I just said slightly in that uh, a heavy stubber he's got requires excellent... racing. So... Oh, well, no, he's the, he's the Orthlac, which actually I vaguely recall when I prepped this, he's got the Orthlac pattern, and I believe that one does not require, um, it's not la labeled as a heavy weapon or, or whatever it is that requires bracing. Somebody want to look that up and verify that, I don't mind, but I'm pretty sure I chose the one that doesn't have the bracing requirement. So one inch equals how many meters? Uh, it's one inch to one meter or whatever. Like, so your movement is probably like three, six, nine, eighteen, or something like that. 
So that's how many inches you can move. No, it is a heavy weapon. It doesn't. There's nothing in it about special traits. There's. Might be in his book. <sighs> in, in the core book, there was two heavy stubbers. One, I'm, I'm, I may be misremembering. To be fair, heavy stubber Orthlac and heavy stubber Ursid. Right, and one of them Those I believe the... requires to be braced, and the other one doesn't. Am I crazy? It's the okay if I am. See. The stats don't say that, but it may say it in the detailed. Orthlac pattern manufactured for planetary defense force armories and widely used as exports. Uses an ammo belt, which allows for a long firing period. Where the locally copied Ursid, originating on a war world of Zaith, is more compact and uses a smaller ammo drum. So one's belt fed, the other's drum fed. That's fundamentally Correct. the difference. Well, either way, he's gonna he's got at least a bipod, and if he moves, he has to take a, I believe he has to take a full action to unbrace, move as another action, and then the next turn takes another full action to set up before he can start firing again. So basically, he's out of firing for two rounds, if I'm not mistaken. I may be getting only war thrown in there slightly. The uh, Orthlac looks like it has a 200-round belt. Yes. Whereas the Ursid has a 40-round drum. Yes. You. And they can both, <laughs> and they are both probably auto 10 as the only option for firing. Correct. Yeah. Full auto is <laughs> all they got. Yep. Okay. Initiatives. Radio. Uh, oh, yeah. If I recall correctly, that's going to be one d10 plus your agility bonus. Because you guys don't ha initiative's not a not a skill or, or uh, oh, no, it is. That's intellect. I was like mine is. But you have agility, so you use it's. Let me double check the book. Or start misquoting all kinds. Of uh, shit. I know. I know. Certain. There's a fuck. Um. There's a. There's a certain character sheet that actually has um, the. Uh, I think that's Warhammer Fantasy that it, has initiative. I don't think this one does. I think it's. I think so it's a roll. Some it's. Sort. It's a one d ten, but some other math I think is done to it. Initiative is on page two thirty five. Uh, let's see. Rolls Roll initiative one d ten plus agility bonus. So. You guys individually, and then one for the squad. I've got three squads in the gunner to roll. Okay. Well, um, my agility bonus is three plus my plus two from paranoia, so I have a ten initiative. That doesn't really work on traps. No, I specifically there's two two sides to paranoia, plus two to initiative and um, huh. an advantage cool. on detecting. What's, a so trap. what's your what's your actual initiative right now, Red? Ten total. 10, yes. And then, Jace, what's yours? 14. 14. Alright. Icaros? I'm going to... Oh, sorry. Only because it's the order I've got it in. <laughs> Icaros, 1 plus whatever? Uh, 3. 4. 4, okay. Reinhardt, you were about to say something? I'm going to spend a fate point to consider myself as having rolled a 10, uh -huh. which will put me at a 17. You have an agility bonus of 70-something? No, I have an agility bonus of 5, and my arch militant bonus gives me plus 2. Jesus. Okay. You fucking gun bunny. That's what you are. Winner! Make your in uh, initiative 1d10 plus agility bonus, please. We oh, she's here. 6. What's your uh, thingy? You've got oh. a snot. You have a long range rifle at this point, right? I do have a long range weapon. For dance. Sorry, I'm having to pull it up again. Um, mm -hmm. I accidentally closed it as I scroll into that section. <laughs> Should laugh at that. I've done that shit too. But I think it's probably like three or four. So, um, my agility is thirty-seven, so three. So Seven for a total of nine, yeah. Somebody make the armsman squad roll. I believe 
Well, I don't remember what their agility stat is, but just 1d10 plus their agility bonus. I leave that to the person who's been drilling them. The arch All right, their I will roll my 1d10. Like uh, plus 3. 1d10 plus 3? Mm. 3. So, dice roller just goes boom. What sort of plus do they get? Just plus 3. So it's also nine. I wasn't sure if you were saying Alteriosis was a plus 3, which it was. No. Um, their agility is So they are going five. at 9. Alright, I'm going to have the arms, unless somebody, well, because I know on a, what's, hold on, on a tie, if their stats are identical, then their stats are identical. Hold on. Something does, after each combatant to determine initiative, GM rolls of initiative, it doesn't specify if there's a tie, or am I just not seeing it? Same initiative, they act in order from the highest agility to the lowest. Okay. So, Rodance, what's your agility? 37 total. What is the, uh, the Armsman's agility score? 35. So they will go... After row. Yep, 9.2 and... Uh, and then I'm going to actually... You can roll separately for Jeff. I am. Go, Jeff! Oh, I someone... forgot about... I forgot about Jeffrey. Yeah, can someone roll his initiative? Because I don't recall specifically his, uh... Agility shit. Six, seven. His agility is 22. So that's a nine. Uh, 9.3. Oops. Alright. Heavy gunner. Agility is plus three. Nine. Because he's an NPC. I'm going to, or whatever. It's going to be a nine point four. Oh, I still have to put him in order. Actually, Carlos, if you want to, you can go ahead and start putting them in order for me. These other guys, I think they're going to have pretty much the same agility. So plus three. Where is the order? I'm right, I wrote the numbers on the individual cards. So squad one is going to be a seven. Squad two plus three. <laughs> Four. Oops. Oh, I, I see it over here. Oh, damn it. And squad three plus three. Thirteen. All right. All right. We got the initiative. That was such amazing viewing content. But we're, I think, just about ready to get started here once the uh, initiative orders tracker thing is put together. I think the heavy gunner goes before our armsman squad and Jeff. No, nine point four oh. goes last. I, it, oh, I, okay. I made a decision based on. That was a GM call, not based on stats. Gosh, it's, it's yeah. nine first, nine second, nine third, nine fourth. I see. Yeah, I think yeah, I think Warner, uh, Warner missed the part where I was like, I'm gonna make him go after the player characters and player allies because you see. Yeah, I was just going by math. Yeah, no, mathematically you know, so or by the rules, the... he would go before Jeff at the very least, but. All right. Are we ready to get going? Is there anything that we need to figure out? Any questions about the table? No. Okay. In that case, Reinhardt, the arch militant with a seventeen initiative. Mm -hmm. Well, with my with my free action, mm -hmm. I'm I'm asking Reinhardt, can you bring down the heavy gunner? <laughs> Well, let's just see here. What's the ranges? It's going to be a bit at first. Yeah. You're going to have to pay attention, especially if you have a short range. Well, I do not. That... Yep, I, I should be able to take him down. Yep. Then bring him down. Because you have a, right. do you have a 100 or 200 meter weapon range? I have a 100. So that's less than half. That's going to give you a plus 10 on top of whatever other bullshit you're going to throw at me. Plus 20. So... Plus 20. So... 
Where's the twenty or the ten plus your command? Yep. Yeah, so that's plus twenty right there, plus your ballistic skill, plus whatever else there is. Yeah, would it, it all gets pretty crazy pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. He so... has to roll below a three hundred. But oh, I, I see what you did. There. Have right. a half move of five inches. Let's see. A half where move that of five gets me. I mean, you're in short range already, if that's what you're wondering. I'm just, you know, I think he's trying about to... taking cover mm. and all that jazz. You know, does how the ship it works. count as any kind of cover from that angle or from uh, an angle? Right now, the only like, if you go for this squad that's off over here, yeah, yeah, somebody, somebody would have to be further over for it to count as yeah. cover. That's what I'm saying. And this guy, for instance, has like a little bit of a difficulty getting a shot through there. How tall are these thingy things? Uh, let's just call it four feet ish. You could duck They're behind them, but you, yeah, okay. yeah, chest, high, chest high. Excellent. All of this stuff is chest high. In which case, I'm gonna move myself up. Actually, the larger gray boxes would more likely be at least just high. here. <laughs> then I'm going to take my single shot. Uh, and because and... you moved, you didn't get you don't get the half aim. I don't get the half aim, but I still get my red dot. Which gives like a plus 10. Plus 10. Yes. So we're up to plus 30. Yep. And <clears throat> I have a plus 10 since it's basic. And I'm a weapon master. Plus so I have 40? to roll uh, 104 or less. <laughs> what, do you mean, what do you mean since it's basic? The, the, the style of weapon. It's not a pistol, it's not heavy, it's basic. It's the uh, weapon skill, basically. Yes. Or category. Uh, so... so I believe, because it's a number over 100, if you roll double zero, that's when it fails. Yep. So. One in 100 chance of failure. It doesn't look like that's it's three going degrees. To fail. Yeah, three degrees of success. So what's your base weapon damage? So on my solo bolt gun, it is 1d10 plus 7. But it's tearing because you said bolt gun. It is a bolt gun, and right. it's explosive. All right, so 1d10 plus 7. With Maybe... 4 pen. Well, I'll figure out the pen part in a second. Let's see how okay. much damage is coming at this guy first. Uh, you said okay. 4 pen, though, actually? Yeah, four pen. Okay, so go ahead and give me your two 1d10 rolls. We'll take the better one. Okay. First. Eight. That's really good. And we're going to go with eight. So we're going to go with 15, eight. 15 damage, four pen on the heavy gunner. He has, uh, let's see. Well, that's going to, oh, what did you, what was your attack roll? 76. That's going to hit him in the right leg. His leg has four so that negates his armor 15 minus the four uh from his toughness that is gonna really oh, jesus christ i'm overthinking all of a sudden i'm thinking like three steps at a time uh 11 wounds yeah he takes 11 wounds i think is what okay so 15 the pen is canceled 18 minus is 4 is 11. 18 minus 11 is 7. Yep. Uh, and there is no crit. He just eats it. I believe that takes us to the next person, which is... Jace, you're up. Okay. I... Who's the closest person to us? Uh, in a direct, direct line of sight, it's going to be yeah, one of the armsmen from one of the pirates from Squad Three. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try and take out the first one from that squad. So this guy here. Okay. Are you moving at all? Uh, yeah. What does? Uh, I need a quick refresher here. No worries. Uh. I can half move and still aim and fire. You, if you no aim, no, you yeah, you can, you can half, move, half move and fire, and fire, or you can aim and fire. Thank you. 
I, I, we were about to say the same thing and just confused the shit out of them. <laughs> now, one thing I want to clarify for myself is can you full auto aim and fire? No. Okay. You can do a full round of aiming one round. Hold on. That I don't know if that actually stacks legally. I believe... Say, you, don't really, you don't really need to aim if you go full auto anyway. The full auto gives that, you that, I was just checking. I was just checking. Yeah. Because the full auto gives you a plus 20, I want to say. Yep, it does. Not to throw too many things out there when Jace is trying to figure out what he's trying to do here. So yeah, you can move I'm up. I'm going to take partial cover here. Yep. And fire at the guy. And just to be clear, you're shooting this one in particular, correct? Uh, yes. Okay. What's the range of your weapon? Uh, 35. All right, so you got... I was going to say, I was just curious, which weapon are you using? A hell pistol or hell rifle or whatever the fuck it is, isn't it? I've got a hell pistol and I've got a hand cannon. I think they're both so, 35, mil 35 meters. Yeah, they both are. Okay, so I'm just he was is, curious which one you were using, that's all. So he is less than the range, but not less than half. So you'll get plus zero for range. Which is all right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So ba at this point, it's just your ballistic skill, unless you've got some other ability or thing that will add to it. Um, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, in that case, it'll be just your ballistic skill. And two-gun mojo doesn't do anything for me? Say that one more time. Holding two guns at the same time. Are you attempting to fire both of them at the same time? Yeah. Oh. Don't you have to have a skill for that? You have to have some sort of dual-wield... You would have Something to have similar to that. a um, dual wield thing to do it without penalty. Correct, and I believe that penalty is either minus twenty or minus thirty. Okay, never without mind. Looking, without looking it up, I, I know I'm in the ballpark. It's it's kind of a hefty penalty, just like any other system. I will I will just fire my hand cannon. Okay, hand cannon, range thirty five, no modifiers, ballistic skill only is your target number. It sounds like. Uh. I will spend a fate point. For that extra plus 10? Yeah. Okay. Ballistic plus 10. What's your ballistic score? 45. Okay, so you're at 55 now? Yep. Oh, shit. Hold on one second. What? I forgot one small step. When Reinhardt shot that dude, he actually takes three additional points of damage because he had three degrees of success on that weapon shot. So he's actually... Four wounds. Four left. wounds instead of seven wounds. Sorry. Just remember that. Go ahead, Jace. Uh, 55, I believe, is your target number. That is three degrees of failure. Would you like to spend another fate point to re-roll? No. All right. In that case, that is one lucky pirate. And then... Yeah. Squad three as a group is going to do their turn. So, movement three. Damn, he could not really move far at all, can he? Um, it's that carapace armor he's not been trained on how to use. Yeah. Alterios, I think you're getting ready to say something. How are you dealing with the uh the the, uh, the squad wounds? Are they just being distributed throughout the whole squad, or are uh, each, each, direct individual? each individual target? Okay. I'm just, for initiative purposes, I'm keeping them lumped as one group, moving and shooting as one. If you recall, when we did our first combat, I think I did it like that, too. It was like the the ambushers plus the psyker lady. Okay. These guys are all just... I, I, will, I, will, I will continue to keep track of their, their wounds on the, on the on the newt pad up here, then. Oh, okay. Sure. Hey, the dumb boys is gets... <laughs> Them boys just get days. Uh, let's see. Did someone call me out of character? I, I did. If you're interested in the rules for two-weapon fighting, it's 247 of the PDF. Okay, I don't think I get access to that for quite some time. So. Do I have auto pistol? 30 meters. I ha okay. I mean, like, so the first thing you get is, like, or the first thing you kind of need is ambidextrous, no penalty to shooting with your offhand. But then if you want to shoot both at once, there's further skills you need to get beyond that. 
Yeah, there's a couple that basically I think I think there's two, maybe three. Although the third one may actually I, I don't listen to me because I'm not entirely sure off the top of my head. Uh, and am I able to crouch down behind this? So uh, that's it. So you being crouched or whatever is implied. That that box is going to give you six additional points of armor. Okay. Uh, the smaller ones like these over here will give you like four. Okay. And then these bigger ones will give you like six or eight. And then same thing with the barrels based on the size. Anywhere from two to eight points is what I've adjudicated for that. These guys are not boxes, just to be clear. These are lift platforms that go up. Well, to, to be fair, they're not guys at all. Sorry? You said these guys, and I'm like, they're not guys. No, they're not, Rev. You're right. You're right. Anyway, uh, he's moved, so he doesn't get anything. He's got a ballistic score of 35. Nobody telling him special instructions, so... Shooting at Jace with three degrees of success. Oh, no, that's a hundred. That that's is a blast. A his weapon failure. Just, his weapon is jammed, actually. What flavor? Uh, strawberry. I I totally spelled jammed wrong. Gamed. <laughs> uh, so on his next turn, he lone star. So on his Give next turn, he has to. Uh, I and this may be an only war rule, but in the next turn, he has to roll his weapon uh, ballistic skill in order to clear that jam. Uh, this guy also... That is correct. I was like, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yeah. Uh, let's see. He's also Unless you know technical knock, in which case you can roll your tech use skill. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Uh, the next one needs a 35 to hit, Jace. Uh, he rolls... Did I just... Tech priest oh. A 1. A uh, 100 I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I really... I was watching the dice. <laughs> I thought... I, I was like, did I really just roll two 100s back to motherfucking back? Uh, that's three degrees of success. Uh, the weapon damage is... Uh, 1d10 plus 2 and 3. So, let's see. 1d10 plus 2... <laughs> four uh with three pens so what's your armor uh let's see a one. Ooh, wait a minute one you take this shot in the head uh do you have any sort of helmet in your on your head there jace yeah five armor okay well that mitigates the uh, what was the pen i said two three screw guy impact Blah. pen three so Two damage comes off of that four. Two damage. But you still have five armor. Yeah, you don't even take any damage. You take a you feel a bullet just bang right into your head. Like the side of the helmet. It knocks you you see stars for like half a second. You're just like, motherfucker, I'm going to eviscerate your corpse. I don't know what you would say. <laughs> but it's definitely a painful experience. Uh but it doesn't do any actual damage. This guy is okay. going to shoot at Reinhardt, uh, 35, no no other modifiers. Uh, what is that? One degree of success, so 1d10 plus 2, free pen, I believe. So that's 12 damage. Double check that pen. 12 Are you damage. He... Uh, la, 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 la. Are you counting that he gets covered from the crate? I did not, actually. So actually, uh, first off, Jace did not get shot. I think if anything, some of the splinters from the crate hit him in the face, but didn't do anything. Uh, Reinhardt, you've got 12 points of damage, 3 pen, you've got okay. 6 additional points of armor. 5 armor and 4 toughness. Yeah, same thing, splinters. The crate, the part of that crate just kind of like bursts into your face. And you're just like, okay, oh shit, okay. so this is for real. They're not playing. You you may now take a free action and be like, Lord Captain, those are real bullets they're shooting at us. No, no we assumed that would be the case. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just making a joke because my guys, mm -hmm. my they dad guys are fucking pistols. ineffective right now. Shocker, who would have known? <laughs> uh, Ryan Hart, you're going to take another guy shooting at you for a 35. Uh, that is a, another... I mean, do I even need to roll this? Because I rolled a 10 for damage last time. Yeah. Yeah, it's... That roll is not being recorded either for some reason. It's still shaking. 
What, what roll? There, there we go. One. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're just taking. You're just eating splinters, my guy. Uh, this guy is. Ooh, the Karos is out in the open, at just under thirty-five meters. Karos, you're gonna yeah. take somebody shooting at you with a thirty-five. He misses. So now <laughs> you're lucky. The bullet kind of zings right Beow. by you. Uh, Rogidio, Rogidio, whatever the fuck your name is. It's your turn, sir. Alrighty. Well, I am taking a half movement to here. I measured it out. Mm -hmm. And, uh, um, let me just use the line. I, I just want to make sure that there, I'm not shooting through cover. I don't know if any of the, whoop, that is not what I meant to do. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I've got I've got warp technology. Surprise! <laughs> it was my it was my secret acquisition. Press and um, hold tab. Or I can do this. But yeah, like uh, so. Uh, I've got a range of thirty, so I'm shooting at the one closest with my bolt pistol and inferno rounds. Okay, where you roll. Uh, what's the difference with the inferno round? Versus standard tearing round. If I hit him, he's got to take an agility check or be set on fire. Bet. <laughs> okay. Make your... Uh, let me see. No range modifier, so it's going to be your ballistic skill and not much else, if I'm not mistaken. This is a burst, so I should. there is like a plus 10, I believe. Uh, I Correct me if I'm wrong. A burst is a full round action. Which means you wouldn't be able to move. Burst move. is a full round action. Yes. Oh, I thought that was a half round. I thought yeah. it was only a full full auto. Single was... shot is the only half. Yeah. Well, then I guess I'm only taking a single shot. And I don't think I have any bonuses currently. So yeah, so it sounds like your ballistic skill flat. Fifty three. What's your ballistic skill? I feel like that's higher than your score. Slightly. Um, Eight point. Um, one second. So my ballistic skill is forty nine. So that was really close. Um, I just want to double check. I will. I will tell you this above the table. There were three encounters planned before you would be able to quote unquote seize control of the ship. I don't. Whether think or not we're going to get through all three in one session, which I highly doubt. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think. Uh, I don't think I'm going to burn my, my a fate point on my first shot. I'm in cover. Um, and that's so, yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Let's see who's next. Winter! Let's see some Psyker shit. Come on. I don't need to right now. What would you like doop, to do? Doop, 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 doop. <laughs> yeah, bro, that's roll for demons. <laughs> <laughs> um, I decide I'm going to go enjoy this piece of cover right here by running. Okay. What's your run stat? 18. Okay. I, I'm i going to assume that was about 18 or less than. Nah, eight. that was like 8. Okay. Okay. Is that, all, that Since you're running, that's all you can do unless I'm crazy yeah. on my well, understanding. Well, my half move is 3. Yeah. So I wouldn't yeah. get in there unless I ran. Yeah, and yeah. I obviously um, was willing to take the risk of running because running reduces hit ranged attacks against you but increases melee yeah you get like a minus uh you your opponents incur i believe a minus 10 to hitting you mm -hmm. at range but I, they gain a plus 10 running or melee i mean so my move to cover was a half movement correct i'm, I'm a little confused so if i had taken a i have less mo movement than you do and i was on the farther away from you no 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 i'm just trying to clarify something else because huh? I, I i think i must have a misunderstanding about how so run is like a sprint action, correct? Yes, it is a full action. Okay. But a regular movement then, which is less than a sprint, can you make a full movement and fire? No. That's yeah. A full a, a full move is a half action. That's what I that's what I was trying to because I wasn't so, sure. Okay. About that. So three hold on, let me let me mouse over somebody's stats just so I can make sure this is right. So three, six, nine, eighteen. Three is a half move, six is a full move. Those are half action, full action, right? Correct. Yeah. What? So a half movement then is a quarter action, or what? I have a feeling it's done under something else, because if you look at the chart, 
uh, if you look at the specific instructions for move. The active character can spend a half action to move the number of meters equal to his agility bonus. Mm -hmm. As a full action, he may move twice that distance. Yes. If the active character, yeah. Yeah. And if you, but that's just, that's, that's so moving. Half there's action nine is, is running. Agility. Yeah. Right. So Not... my agility is 37. My half move is three. My full move is six. My charge is nine and my run is 18. And yeah. run is still a full action. Yes. Right. But running gives the, Gives those modifiers to range yes, and melee attacks. Yes, correct. And Being it's uh, 20, 20 not 10, 10. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So the nine is the nine the charge then? The third nine the charge. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. I got it straight. I I may have had some of that stuff misremembered, but I think we're all on the same page. Yeah. 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 Okay. I I just want to make sure I understood because some of that was was starting to throw me off. Yeah. Half full charge run, base oh. leap and base jump. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Armsmen, I will allow you guys as a group to figure out how you want to move all of the armsmen and who controls what and how many, etc. That's for you guys to figure out, but it is now the okay. armsmen's turn. So their their half movement is three? Yes. Uh, and to be clear, stats-wise, there is no fundamental difference between the, the armsmen, the sergeant, and the lieutenant, other than the sergeant and the lieutenant probably would have maybe a command skill or something that the others wouldn't have. Do we want to pick a couple to run to get into this cover over here? Yep. I, yeah, I I'd say just move them all so they're under cover. Trained them and, to yeah. move to cover first and shoot next if if necessary. Okay, so so this one I mean, can move. Would can you consider this? Would shoot. you would you consider this in cover, Omar? If he's yeah, yeah. okay. If you Somebody guys are move adjacent him to any of those objects. Uh, it will count as cover. So let's 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 just do these guys one at a time so that we don't get confused who has and hasn't gone. So okay. he's gonna shoot next, correct? Correct. Yeah. Okay. If you're gonna let's... move and shoot, let's do the move and shoot before moving to the yep. next model. Just for just so we don't. I'm get trying confused. to drop him slightly further forward because that's where he should go. It just looked different when no, you. No, you're good. Yeah. Him. You're good. So he shoot. Do, does he have a las gun or? A... He has an auto pistol, which has single or full. So he does have a single shot. He can make his single shot. Okay. He also has man stopper rounds, which gives you the plus three. Or excuse me, uh, pen three. It's FYI. I, again, I use generic stats for these guys because I knew you guys were trying to do something specific with your armsmen, but I never found out and didn't want to spend a bunch of time trying to figure it out while prepping. Well, we did tell you last guns, but I'm, I'm kind of mm. digress from that. No, that may be my bad then. We'll jump that bridge later. We eventually want to go, like, hill guns and stuff like that, but, like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. obviously we'd also discuss that they only had flak armor, and that's gone out the window. Listen, again, I went with we some generic cool. stats. I know. I know. I'm giving you a hard time. <laughs> I know. I may, I may have deserved it. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so they're uh, ballistic scale with no modifiers because you're within range, but not half or double. No, what is their crazy. ballistic skill out of out of... Curious. Uh, if you, you mouse, mouse over, over it, shows them, it, it's 35. And it says 35. Um, yeah. What's okay. the, it, 30 meters is their range. Yeah, so 30. So you can shoot the first couple of squad three. Actually, you can shoot every one of squad three from that guy. So For a second, I thought this guy here was hiding behind the elevator, and then I went, wait a minute, that's not cover. No, he's out, they're all out in the open. Well, I mean, technically, this one might not. You no, can't they're in that. the open. Shoot her! All right, so who's rolling for the shot? Whomever. Well, why don't you do it since you determined they would move? <laughs> that is no. That's nope. a no. That's a miss. Mm hmm. It's fine. Yep, move your next dude. Let's have this one get into. That one can move three yep. and still shoot. Yep. All right. Up uh, to the stuff. I oh, I thought that was me dragging. I'm like, no, I already stopped. Look, look. Is he not sitting flat? No, he is kind of. He's touching the pedestal. Yeah, there we go. He's touching my pedestal. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, thirty-five is his ballistic score. Which which one of those five is? He I'll shooting roll at? it. Which one is he shooting though? So if I can uh, update the correct one. You gonna go for this guy? Uh, 
I, I would say he'd not shoot the jammed one because he would know that the jammed one is out of combat for a turn. Okay, so go for the second one then. Yeah, I'm assuming anyway. Yeah. Make your roll, please. The roll, if you please, is a, miss. Is a failure. Uh, okay, next guardsman. Omar I'm... rolls 20, 20, 20. So we're getting 70, 60, 50. Stop it. Yeah, we I also rolled this. a 71 just so you, you could see that, right? And a one hundred. Yeah, just just yes. just to hide what you were doing, that's all. <laughs> okay. Hide what I was doing as I jammed one of my soldiers' weapons. Well, you couldn't make it obvious. This fellow here. <laughs> okay, I'll move him. <laughs> that guy will receive the benefit of cover. Woot. The one that you just moved. Yeah. Yeah. Let's hope they don't have grenades. Um, you want to roll or you want me to? Let's hope you oh. guys do have grenades. <laughs> I'll do it. Do we That's have crap. grenades? I assume that at least one or two of you has a couple. The miss is the miss. Yes. Is the miss is the miss. All right, next guardsman, armsman. I gotta keep. I'm trying to remember to call them armsmen just so they're not being confused with imperial guard. <laughs> Would that be in cover? It would be in cover, yeah. Actually, he'd need to. I don't but, think that would. I don't think that would be cover. Yeah, if you're at three, three, on one, three, from. two. If you want to move close enough that, or as far as you can, and still shoot, he will not be in cover. But I'd have he, him move into cover okay. instead. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Given given our rolling record, cover is more <laughs> important than. Given my rolling record, you might want to find cover. <laughs> you mean given your loaded dice? Yeah. We yeah, like I know how to... You know that they're just random number generators that I have no control over or no access to the code, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. That's what I want you to believe. Yeah, downloaded just... hacks for TTS. <laughs> I was going to say, and this, this map just was part of the... Included program, right? Yeah, the map was the smoke screen. <laughs> I had to find the map separate so that I could get the, the code at a discount. I'll let you go ahead. I think most of them are going to have to use their full movement to get into yeah. some kind of cover. Yeah. So oh, I'll yeah. let you. So can we have one of them sprint? Yeah, yeah, I mean, the choices are yours. Run. What? I was going to say, how far is that? Because I don't know. Like, uh, three, six, he nine, should be 18. able to run 18, yeah. So we'll just have him right up there. I'm going to put a small die on him to indicate that he sprinted. This fellow just sprinted, too. And do we want to have a couple of them go over here? Yeah, that's probably is that cover as well. Yes. yes. Cool. Yes. I'm gonna assume he ran around this way. Sure. Yeah. I uh, say no more than two. That way. Did that got... that guy that ran around the barrel? Did that use up more than his nine or six? I mean. I feel like it would have. Well, that means he would have sprinted it's over there. run. It's it's yeah. run. So that's eighteen, right? Yeah. So he would also get. So he's here. Yeah, that's not even twelve. To get um, there that way. Well, no, I guess he's, my question is more is like he needs to get. The... Okay. Yeah, yes. that's that's where I was going. Was does he need a little? Does he need a little one dot sugar cube? So does the other guy. Which one? The this one. The other guy Which... behind. That yes. One? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Rodance also needs one as well. You know what? You're right. She does. Do you want to have the sergeant just move straight forward, or do you want to save that space for a chorus? We can save the space for a chorus. We can have the uh, sergeant and the lieutenant basically flanking you. I mean, 
My, uh... Is, is Cassian... Or they could, easily, they could easily get into this cover. Yeah, they can run up into that one. Is Cassian a sergeant or a lieutenant? I don't remember. Cassian was the lieutenant. Okay. In case I need to change that back to... When the Cassian goes marching... No. Over here, where over did the, here. Where did the lieutenant run off to? Right here. They're the, uh, they're the, uh, ship's comedy duo, <laughs> Lou and Jeffrey. Oh, it's not Jeffrey's turn yet. No, but they're the comedy duo. Sure. I didn't say, I didn't say it was his turn. Okay. You, you should see their who's on first. Hmm. All right. That takes care of, oh, so it is Jeff's turn now. Uh, that's all the arms, all the arms on, yes? Correct. Okay, so it is Jeff's turn. They made a couple so of poor shots. Dice. I'm sorry? Oh, yes. they need dice too? Yes, they will. Where are you getting all these dice, Omar? From He's creating them. He's copy-pasting them. Omar, this is an exponential increase. What are you doing? You're going to crash the board. I'm not going to crash the board because all they're doing is changing their physical location. <laughs> not their spinning, tumbling geometry and physics and shit. Shut up. Uh, let's see. He is gonna go. You know what? He knows he's a big dude. <laughs> and let's see. No, Captain. I was thinking about dinner. <laughs> he might. He probably is thinking about dinner. To be totally honest with you. Uh, let's see. Can we see if they've got any tube grubs on board? We need it. Sorry, his yes. ears aren't big enough for a Ferengi. Dude. It's going to be 38. Look at that dude that jammed up. Hey, ah! it hits! Uh, oh, now it's, frying having... pan. it's not the frying pan, it's the naval shot I know, cannon. I know, oh, I was joking, nice. that, he, I was joking that he threw the frying pan. Uh, hold on, what does it say? Nine. Two D ten plus four zero pen. All right, be real. He's thinking about dinner and he sees jam and he shoots it. Like, is this? There's a nine and a six. It didn't report the second roll. There it goes. Yep, yeah, fifteen. Is... Yeah, fifteen. It's just slow. Zero six pen. nine. Nice. <laughs> uh, where did that hit him? Thirty three would have hit him in the body. So that means he's got. Uh, let's see. When did you shoot at? Body... Four, six... He shot at Mr. Jammy. So six armor plus their bonus, 10 at 15, so he loses five. This one here? Yes. The one... Oh, I thought the one next to him was the one that was jammed. No, this guy is. And that's the one that he shot with his massive. So in his hands, it looks like a normal uh, sawed-off shotgun. But in reality, it's the size of a standard rifle. Or probably heavier, larger oh, than that. Because he's definitely shotting, or excuse me, definitely shooting it one-handedly. He's shotting it. His, uh, his offhand is, of course, the massive frying pan. It is a solid steel cast it's not steel cast iron but you know solid steel connect uh skillet <clears throat> and he's Boom. got his flak armor and he has a look of some concern as he moves more or less he's like well i'm just gonna move with the group wow i think i got him low happy you need to work on your ogre anyway listen it i like him <laughs> You're probably not wrong. My voice acting skills are garbage. Let's put it that way. Uh, yeah, that's what happens. No, if they were garbage, I wouldn't have told you to work on them because there would be no hope for improvement. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Heavy Gunner. Where are you, Heavy Gunner? You're here. Uh, all of these guys. In fact, he is shooting at Reinhardt. Of I course. Believe... I thought you said he needed a brace. He is braced. He's, he's, he's beginning he's set braced. Up. Yeah, he's beginning braced. 
Uh, that is under half of 100, so that's going to be a plus 10. It's going to put him at a 40, or yeah, 45. Uh, he is firing full auto. I believe full auto gives me 20. Mm -hmm. Let me double check. I'm going to find table. Where is the Where is the Full table? auto should give plus 20. I, I want to see it. Like, I believe you. I just want to see it because usually there's other things that I see. Like, oh, I wanted to do that too for somebody I thought else. it was plus 20 at point blank. Well, it's plus... Oh, here we go. Uh, Semi-auto. Full auto burst. Uh, attacker makes a ballistic skill test with a plus 20 bonus. So right now he's going right. with a plus 30 because of range and the full auto function. And he's not moving or anything. Uh, so that's going to be one hit plus one additional hit per degree of success. The number of extra hits scored cannot exceed the weapon's full automatic fire. Extra hits can either be allocated to the original target or any other targets within two meters, provided none of the new targets would have been harder to hit than the original target. Which is he counted as undercover at his current position from the machine gun? Ooh, you're. I'm gonna say yes, and I'm gonna make a rule now. Within half an inch, which I realize right now Reinhardt is not half an inch from here. He's about one inch. But if you're half an inch from the object in the direction of fire, you have that benefit. Does that make sense? The way I'm explaining it. We're playing XCOM rules. I don't know what that means, but at any rate, I'm, I will. I'm just, go ahead. He's got two boxes between him. That's. That's got to be some level of cover. Yeah, he's going to get six points of cover. Not 12? No, just six. He's shooting through two boxes. He's got... Okay, mechanically he's not aiming, but he's got a good line of sight to him. Anyway, I'm rolling 35 plus 30, 65 for a 10-round shot. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Okay. Right. Well, only Reinhardt is going to take this hit. <laughs> I'm not going to be I able to... <laughs> wondering whether I should use my dodge on this. Uh, I will tell you this before you decide. He The damage is 1d10 plus 5, 3 pen. So, use that information to determine whether or not you're going to So, it's to just one hit? It's only a single hit. I needed a 65 then, and I rolled yeah, 64. Yeah, I'm gonna not going to do my dodge on this one. We'll, we'll trust the uh, the cover Oops. and stuff. I didn't get a dodge. Uh, you have a free reaction each round. One free reaction, oh. that is. Um, 1d10 plus 5. I believe it was 3 pen? Yes. 3 pen, so that's uh, 9 damage. 3 pen. You have 6 armor on top of your normal armor and toughness. Okay. I don't... Well, so... okay. So it's just to clarify, it's not one free action. You have one reaction. Free action, something else. I may have said free reaction, you, but what Rev is saying is what I meant. You have the I one. Just wanted reaction. To, I just wanted to clarify for anybody that was thinking they only got one free action. For yeah, sure. yeah. It's so one for, exa reaction. for example, I can do my voice of command or whatever it's called and give somebody a plus ten, and potentially also dodge on the same turn. You only get one dodge. Yeah. Per turn. Yes. Nine you damage, get a dodge per round. Yep. But there are other free actions that you can also do and yes. not remove it's, your he, dodge. He's pointing it out because I said you, it's a free reaction or something like that, and yes. it's the terminology I use yes. that he's trying free to Free action versus reaction. Yes. I just was trying to put in a little clarification just to make sure we're all on the same page, that's all. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. Nine damage, three pen, six armor on top of your normal armor and toughness. That is a... Uh, by the way, I rolled a That's 64. a whole lot of splinters around me. Oh, actually, I've been doing that wrong. So that, uh, so it was 64 is what I rolled. It's actually a hit location. It's in the body regardless. But uh, I believe all the damage was mitigated because you're undercover? Correct. Okay. Well, that was a, dis that was a disgruntling waste of 10 rounds, but whatever. Squad 1 is these guys over here, I believe. They are... They're going to be cheeky little bastards. Um, They're going to move to flank? Yep. 
so again, just so I'm clear, 3, 6, 9, 18. 18 is their full-ass run with bonuses, etc. Yes. Not bonuses, modifiers. So, so 3 is the half action where you can still take a single shot. 6 is a full move with no modifiers. 9 is a charge, so you can hit with melee at the end of it. And now it is, I believe, a resident tech priest guy. Karos. Uh, okay. First, I'm going to take a clean shot at uh fuckface over here. You want to move to cover first? Just curious. Uh, I can do that afterwards. Or do you want to do an aim shot? No, because uh, now I'm being I'm being I'm being flanked and I'm out in the open already. I'm not I'm not taking I'm not taking <laughs> clean shots from. Ten guys. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> uh, let's check a little my shit. Alright. Um You are just to my... be clear, yeah, you're shooting here. What's your weapon range? Uh one fifty with the hell gun. Oh my god. One ten. So that's plus ten 110. for range. Oh one ten. Wow. The hell gun is one ten. Well, regardless, okay. it's like 35 meters. It's definitely less than half, so he's getting the plus 10 for range. I just didn't realize um, the Hellgun had quite a bit of reach out and slap you in the face on it. It does. <laughs> reach oh, out yeah. and touch face. Yeah, really. <laughs> now uh, we know why you guys uh, wanted your arms when all armed with Hellguns. <laughs> eventually. I will uh, I will use a fate to uh, add another 10 to that. So That's it's 20. Six, 61 is what I'm looking at. Okay, 61. Make shots, shot, sir. Hey, look at that. Two degrees of success. What's your weapon damage? Uh, 1d10 plus 4. Okay, so 41. And was that a semi-auto? Yeah. Uh, okay. well, if it's semi-auto, so that should be you two can't hits. move. That's true. Huh? He can't move if he semi-autos it. It was plus 10 for range, plus 10 for fate. So it's a single shot based on those numbers. Yep. So now oh, he can yep. move okay. after we yeah. resolve damage. Uh, 41 becomes a 14. That's a right arm. And I believe it's four in the arms. Yep. So what's the pen? Seven pen. Seven. Yep. Never mind. Uh, that totally negates his armor. Toughness bonus of four. What's your damage? One roll, uh, I'm sorry. Four roll your damage is what I meant to say. That'd be nine. Nine, nine damage. Yeah. Uh, minus his toughness is four, so that's five damage. Thirteen wounds. All right. Uh, go ahead and make your move. Mm. Three inches, I believe. Yeah. Up around there. I see you're doing Back the same. behind the drum. I see you're using the same method I am. Measure out the distance. Right. Put, put, dro drop the arrows on it so I know where to move my to my uh, token. Yeah, <laughs> that was a good. That's a good system. I like it. Yeah. I'm stealing it. <laughs> no, nope, by all means. Squad two. Uh, they are over here with the gunner, so they're gonna. Let me see. Well, if they're not going to, they're just going to. Uh, I'm not going to map this one. I'm just going to. They're here. taking cover. Yeah, they're going to surround or use this piece of crate as cover. That will be the end of the first round of combat. And now that we kind of have a bit of a flow reestablished, I think combat's going to start speeding up slightly. Okay, so it should be to me. Yep, Reinhardt, you're up. You have Excellent. been shot at by a number of people and have done that have done nothing but put splinters in your face. There's a piece of wood yep. hanging out of your I am... kit right now. It's actually frustrating because it's right I in the corner repeating, of your I am repeating my order as well. <laughs> Do <Yep>. better. <laughs> I'm going to move up here. Next to Cassian and Sargi boy. Mm -hmm. 
taken hopefully some cover from both directions. I realize you're cucked, but you'll get some cover. There we go. Okay, we're gonna he's... call that good. Yep. <laughs> All right. He's just gonna... His, his and I will take my solo bolt gun shot at the heavy gunner. Uh, I believe that you have the plus 10 for range. You had plus 10 from the Lord Commander. or It Lord should Captain. be the same thing as last time unless Borgadio is not giving me the juju. He is. He's giving uh, me the juju. So I think, what was it, plus 30 or 40? I don't remember. It re resulted in a ballistic skill of 104. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to roll again. Go for it. Hey, look at that. High I degrees hit. of success. So roll your damages. Let's see what how much what number we're okay. working with. I'm going four to pen. just Yep, four pen. Uh, roll them at the same time. So that'll be the five damage plus okay. four seven. Damage. So twelve. All right, 12 damage with 4 pen. 12 pen, or 12 with 4 pen, yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, and 5 degrees of success? Oh, yeah, thank you. Oh, man, I've been forgetting degrees of success all across the board. Uh, i got to get better about that. Anyway, 55 is a hit in the body. Oh, yes, this one's accurate, so it does do stuff on degrees of success beyond. Uh... I gotta stay focused here. Okay. Okay. Ten four. That is going to eliminate four of the bodies. So two. Your damage was how much was damage? Twelve. Twelve. So that's ten that gets through. Six that gets through. He's dead. All right. You. Which one died? The heavy gunner. Oh. Cool. Uh, I don't have a good way to like. Lay him down. Uh, yeah, you do. It's the rotational thing. Yeah, but I gotta do, like, weird way. You could just take him off the board. I like dead bodies on the board. That'll work. Oh, well, you know what? <laughs> I'm very dead. He's upside down. <laughs> upside He's down, clipping through. Uh, yeah, so he yeah. completely fades through the table. Yeah. Uh, where is he on here? Okay, you already marked him. Love you too, bud. Uh, let me fix the order. My son was trying to say I love you. Hey, you need to start getting ready for bed, too. No. Shit. Yeah, send bed. Goodbye. Send Goodbye. bed. Ah. The only thing that should have moved was over here. E everything blow up. Yeah, won't do that again. <laughs> Okay, updating the initiative tracker. All right, so who's next? That is Reinhardt. Are you doing anything else? I think that's everything. That was it. All right, Jace, you're that up. That was a whole turn. Jace. Um, I will take a name dead? action. I'm sorry. I will take a name action. Okay, plus 10. I will fire at this guy. All right, plus 10. Uh, with... that, what does a burst do? So a burst is going to be a full round action, which negates your aim action. No aim. Yep. Uh, it's. Okay. Are you doing semi auto burst or full auto burst? Semi. All right. Semi. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's plus ten for semi. Yep. Uh, and for every two degrees of success, it's an additional hit that you can apply either the same target or targets that are yep. no more than two meters off. Up to your weapon's semi value. Yes. That. Yes. Thank you. Okay, it's only a two. So you can get up to two hits. Yep, so it's a two-round burst. Plus ten ballistic skill, two possible hits. But you can't move. But you weren't planning on moving because it was going to either be aim or a semi-auto, which if you're going to do one or the other, you have a better chance of having the semi-auto getting that second hit than a single shot. Okay. Then I'll do the semi-auto. All right, plus 10. Ballistic score, plus 10. And which one are you shooting? The jammed or not jammed? Not Let's jammed. Go. Not jammed, okay. Uh, what's your ballistic score? 40-something? 40 45. All right, so, so you're sitting 55. at 55. And then, I know last round you spent a fate point to get plus 10, but it's up to you if you want to repeat. No. 
Okay. So 55. You like to re-roll that. Nice, by the way. <laughs> uh, I don't want to grow. Not on my fifty-five on nine. Okay. All right. That will take it to who's this guy? What's next? Oh, squad three. Uh, they are going to do the same thing. They're going to move forward and shoot. So, well, uh. Reinhardt, correct me if I'm wrong. If you have to fix a jam, it's the only thing you can do. It's a full round action, correct? To... Yes, it is a full round action. Uh, well, actually, what's the reload on their weapon? Ooh, that's a good question. It's auto pistol. I think it's one round. One full round. Okay. Yeah, one full round. Yep, so then, yes. If they succeed, it's a full round. Either 35 or better. All right. He is no longer jammed at, at bleh, on the next round, that is. Correct. So he has cleared the jam, and he is He just can't reloading. do anything this turn. Or this Correct. Turn. Three inches moving up. He is going to shoot at... Base, so 35... Oh, shit. Let me double-check that range. 18. Is range. not half of 35. Uh, yeah. It's not half of 30, either, unfortunately. <laughs> Correct. So, yeah, 35 is all he gets for a single shot. He rolled a Ouch. 6. So that's 3 degrees of success. That's going to be, uh, let's see, 1d10. But that's only, a, that's only a single shot, fortunately, not a not Yeah, yeah, a yeah, single test. shot. Yes. 1d10 plus 2, pen 3. Oh, we got extra dice on the board. Uh, So it's 8 plus 3. Or, excuse me, 8, 3 pen. You've got six armor coming off the crate. It's not even going to do any damage. They're just shooting up the crate at this point. Actually, you know what I ought to do, too? Nope, not boards. Nope. God damn it. Hitting all the wrong buttons here. Are you going to give the crates HP? Uh, but they're all going to stay, like, they're all going to start at 20. So even if they have taken damage, they're, it doesn't matter. It's getting counted. He's giving them HP now, not retroactive. <laughs> Correct, because I'm not trying to figure that out. Well, the others have less armor. I'm getting there, Rev. <laughs> Sorry. Saying, the others, <laughs> if if the me. others have less armor, should their HP be the same? No. The smaller boxes will have different numbers. I'll I'm I'll be right back. I'm gonna let you get the HP and sort it out. <laughs> I am pretty sure he used those words very specifically. Yes. <laughs> uh... Oh my! All all of the pirates are now just firing on Borgadillo for some reason. It's such a shame. <laughs> I like how he said that too. I'm, I'm surprised they haven't broken out suppressive fire yet. Uh, well, there've been some of them have been quite busy moving. So, the one who would have been the obvious choice for that is dead. Wait, and he tried. He just sucked at it. Well, he he threw out a full round, full auto burst, not yeah. not suppressive. Those are different rules. Well, true. That that is true. Uh -huh. I'm going through the Death Watch rule set. Uh, my space brain would have taken a look at all these guys and had a really big smile on his face. <laughs> really big, e really big, eager flamer in his hands and just burn heretics. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think so these guys a technically... salamander, eh? Well, given, yeah. given the aesthetics of their armor, I don't think we can necessarily identify these quote unquote pirates as heretics. I think these are closely, as far as any sort of accuracy to them, it would be traitors. Or at the I was going to say, with, with, with the level of war gear that they have aesthetically by the models that you've chosen, uh -huh. these guys are somebody's house guard masquerading as pirates. That's not the intention, just to be totally clear. 
I am using stat wise. I'm using effectively oath sworn bodyguards or something like that. Um, but the they models are... do look cool as shit. Yeah, they do. Stats wise, that's what I'm using. Um, is the oath sworn bodyguard or whatever the fuck it's called? But they are legit pirates. They don't look as cool as they do, uh, as far as their models. It's a lot of uh... well, w with rare <laughs> exception. Pilots are, like, worse than your average Imperial Guardsman, and the only reason they have any kind of success is because they're fighting unarmed civilian transports. Yeah. Uh, this... Ooh, Cassian Anders. These guys are well-equipped. Yes. So, we'll be finding out why shortly, I'm sure. Well, maybe not shortly, but... Whoo, that's a 19. Yeah, so that's gonna be 7 plus... Two degrees, that's nine damage. Anders eats a bunch of wood splinters. This becomes a 13, though. I mean, to be fair, the, like, it's How does it their go models. Oh, models you're literally. Like got... guns, but okay. they all have auto pistols, so, like. Yeah, it's, it's, it's. They spent all their money on armor. <laughs> <laughs> right. Rounds that have blown into it. Yeah. Uh, he's going to scooch up to there. He is taking shot at. This guy? Okay. Not Anders, the guy next to him. 35. Because yes. model-wise, it looks like they're equipped with they light have... bolters. They might light be. Light they might bolters. Be. What's, well, most of our bolters are light bolters. I don't yes. like standard, standard issue last gun somewhere, but I could be wrong. I was judging by the large breach on the top of the weapon. Uh, that's going to be plus 2, plus 4. Three degrees of success, so it's going to be plus five, fourteen. Yeah, those do look vaguely like the last uh, guns. Fourteen damage, three pen on Anders. Uh, six armor from the crate. So that's going to be. I thought you said it was the ne guy next to Anders. No, this is the the next. This guy here fired oh, on okay. Anders. The other two attempted to fire on the guardsman sergeant, but missed. Okay. Uh, Six to seven. Uh, so yeah, six six armor on top of whatever Anders uh, uh, already has, but it's going to be nine plus two plus three, so fourteen damage total. Guys, this crate isn't holding up very long. Can I we mean, please all take a pirate care of needs to be group? successful in the Imperium is a couple micro macro batteries, and they did raid a pilgrimage ship most recently. Who knows what they raided before that? Pilgrim yes, Pilgrim's carrying Carapace armor. How silly yeah. of me. He, he said, who knows what they raided before that, doofus. <laughs> uh, what's Anders looking like for damage and stuff? He took uh, damage? Yeah, 15 damage. Uh, yeah, he's got pen. Uh, three pen, I think? Yeah, okay, three 15, pen. Three pen. Six additional you said, armor. So that's... Four, six, ten armor, minus three is seven armor, and then his toughness is four. I think he's not taking any damage. So that's what was the total 11 damage? Eleven, fifteen, four, uh, reduction. So he took four, four damage. Four. Oh, fourteen, three damage. He took three damage. Yeah, because it's nine plus two, plus three degrees. So he has success. fifteen wounds left. Okay. Anders is bleeding. I made one of you bleed. Okay. Uh, no one makes me bleed. But he had a terabyte blood. of carapace. How could he get through that? <laughs> Borgadio, make hard. a shot, damn it. I <laughs> need to answer a text message because people are suddenly deciding now is a good time to let me know happy birthday and stuff. Hey, go, handle, go handle your textual relations. Um, well, I'm going to make a burst. So that's a, uh, is that you, that's a... Uh, semi or first... full? I don't have full on a bolt pistol okay. with him. So um, semi is going to be plus 10, but no movement. Up to, right, correct. And then one additional hit for every two successes. Correct. Up to the limit. Of two. Two possible successes. Methinks. And which that one just are you got to happen? 
Uh, your... I have a ballistic skill of 49, plus 10 is 59. Okay. So that should three... be at least two successes. That's three degrees, yeah. so you're going to get two shots off. Uh, which yep. one are you shooting at? Um, the the leading, the lead man. This one? Mr. I just unjammed. Yeah. Yes. The one I, I, okay. Roll. I thought I just unjammed is the one back by the tank. He is. Oh. Yeah, the one in front of him. All right. Is gonna he eat is going to take, uh, he's got four points of armor from that box. Well, hold on. Let me measure that. So that is technically, I believe, outside the limit. Yep. Yep. So he is in the open. Uh, so he will not get the benefit of cover. Roll damage. Okay. It, it, that's the wrong weapon. It is 1d10 plus 5 with 4 pin plus okay. the degree. Plus three degrees of success. Plus it's a bolter, so you roll two tens and yeah, take roll, the better of the two. Let, let's let's resolve the first hit. So roll two d ten and take the better number or the higher number. So nine. Nine. But what's nine. the plus? Plus what on it? It's a plus five, so that's fourteen. Fourteen damage. Uh, with how do the, the degrees of success figure into that as well? It gets Is added that on to the, the pin nine or the damage. It gets okay. added to the nine, so it was three degrees. Three, three degrees. So that's twelve so, damage three. plus five is seventeen damage. With four pin. With four pin. Uh, that will negate his armor. Nope. That'll negate all but two of his armor. Uh, so fuck, I really need to write these numbers down because my short term memory is not working. Nine damage. Plus 3, that's 12, plus the 5, that's 17. 17 minus 2 is 15 damage. Armor is used up. He also has 4, so that's minus 11. He is down to 7 wounds. And then the second hit. And then the second now, hit. He still um, needs to get resolved. So how how does how does burning work mechanically? Burning? Oh, you're, I forgot you inferno. got the Inferno rounds. Uh... I believe, as you mentioned earlier, he has to make an agility test or catch on fire, and then each round he takes fire damage until he can right, himself but, but out, I believe. But I, I don't I didn't know the mechanic for how much fire damage, and I was curious about that. Uh we we're we're gonna have to look that one up in a moment. Let's resolve okay. the second damage because I feel like if this second bullet does a bunch of damage as well, he's dead. Well, have... If I set him on fire, I might want to hit the guy beside him. Uh yeah. so I guess oh. I need to roll agility then is what I'm hearing. I would like to at least set him on fire before I decide, 35. or not. Right. I need to roll I 35 or less to stop from being on fire. 21. He is not on fire. So then the second shot hits him. Does everyone know it's my birthday? It has been mentioned. The viewing audience may not know. I was trying to light some candles and you won't let me. <laughs> I, well, you know what? This guy can dance a jig. What do you want me to do, man? <laughs> uh, I believe he's going to eat that second round then. Yes. All right, roll your 2d10s so, and take the bigger one and add 3 plus 5, so it's 8. eight. 6 plus 8 is 14. Uh, becomes four 12. Uh, fuck it, I'm just going to kill this guy. He's dead. I'm not going to do all that math. It's my birthday. You get a freebie. <laughs> Actually, I mean, not, not really, really a freebie. It would have killed him. It would have killed him. I just didn't want to finish crunching out the math. <laughs> Uh, that takes us to our resident psyker, Winter. Who's may or may not I need to make a willpower check. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is this because well, psyker reasons or because mental reasons? Psyker reasons. Oh, she's. I pass. Cool. Okay. I cast inspire. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Talk to me about this inspi inspiration you're giving out, as if you were a bard uh... in a D and D tavern. It's not the same way I know. Um, in that respect. Uh, <laughs> the Inspire for this game um, removes pinning and gives people a bonus to fear checks based on um, who I select within range. Okay. Uh, so, chat says uh, burn okay. the witch, and I say no, she is sanctioned. She's not a witch. We found a witch. Maybe, yeah, I'm but, a sanctioned huh? psyker. Thank you very much, fucker. San a sanctioned witch, maybe, but... <laughs> okay, so um He has no eyeballs. Yeah, so I it's a four meter range. 
Um, basically, every round, I'm going to be sustaining this, and I'm just moving it, because I can target two people with this. Okay. I'm just moving it around and unpinning people with it, because it's an automatic success on the pinning check, and plus 10 to resist fear. And what's so I basically the range on it? Just... Four inches? Four, is anybody, four inches. Is anybody actually pinned yet? No. No. I, I, I um... It's a... I picked the two people who keep getting shot at a lot, so I think that was Anders and one of the other dudes near him. There's also the rogue Anders figure. and the Sarge. Actually, yeah, Anders and well, the Sarge. Well, who, who is obviously attracting attention? I target those two first. Well, well, I haven't been shot. <laughs> so Jace and... Um... Jace, Reinhardt, Anders, and the Sergeant right next to him. They have, they are the ones that have been getting a lot of uh, Black. wood chips in their face. So it's, uh, I guess I'll hit, uh, Anders and where's Jace for me? He is right here. And I, I can't, out of range. it's that's, he's out of range. Yeah. I'm so, next to Anders. So you two then, Anders I and, uh, I don't think you. you need to worry about me getting pinned. Yeah. So I just am basically, it's my way. I think I have a, I think I have a trait that helps with that. Yeah. So I basically am just, you know, helping them with fear checks and pinning because oh, that's one of the I better options I can too. do. All right, so who's so give it? it to the Sarge. I give it to the Sergeant and to Anders. Basically, I'm helping our NPCs be a little bit better at NPCing. Okay, like, look, I have the uh, lovely debuff one too, but that basically requires melee range, and I ain't doing that. Yeah. So the blue one is just is the ones that will have that inspiration thingy on it. Yeah, I and also I just want you to congratulate me on not upcasting it. Mm-hmm. So you did that fettered, correct? Uh, I did it unfettered. Unfettered? Oh, you did it unfettered. Yeah. Which is why I, I did it at my normal side ranking. I didn't push it. Yeah, okay. So you. Didn't I just wanted to let them know that you I could did have not push the it and made some shit really wild. Yes. She well, it would have. have. I haven't taken the feed that lets me pick my default um, uh, phenomena yet, so okay. I didn't want to pull off the random table. Okay. Is there anything else you're doing, or is that it? That's it. We now go to the squad. The armsmen. Woot! So I feel like some of these white dice are going to disappear. And for the Anders and the sergeant, as long as they stay within four inches of the psyker, the blue dice will not disappear. However, move as you desire. Warner, just... just to make this simple, you decide for the five guys that are in front of your character there. Sounds good. And I'll decide for the five that are in the back. Sounds good. Un unless Jace or anybody else wants to get on moving some of these? I think it I'll makes help, more sense I'll to help let... with the measurements. Yeah. But... Okay. I think it makes more sense to let one or two people direct them yeah, because or... it keeps it more cohesive. Move those five first and then we'll... Cohesion! Do it wasn't coherency, it's cohesion. That's the word I was trying to think of earlier. Mm -hmm. Don't... Sorry, don't... Don't okay. mind me. So speaking speaking of so rules, they are... Omar, I sent you the rules for fire. Fire, fire, not yeah, firing. Be, being on fire. Okay. That's Thank you. page two sixty one of the PDF. Got it. I, I got a nicer block that that is all in one block instead of having to look in two pages. Nice. That sounds like GW. I mean, it's from the it's from the on. Death Watch core rulebook, but the rules are the same. Yeah, a lot of the mechanical rules are similar or same. Anywho's. Know. Yeah. Uh, my guys, I don't think are going to be repositioning at all. I think that they are going to try and remove the people in front of them, because they'd have to move more or less out of cover from the people in front of them to move into cover from the people flanking us to the side. Yeah, so, you you basically have to choose. This is the problem with getting so, flanked universally. Yeah, they're, they're, you have they're to choose gonna... which flank to guard the most. <laughs> They're going to take out these guys that are in front of them. So, uh, I don't know what the pingy thing is. Tab. 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 So that guy's going first. Okay. Take his dice away. He's about to full auto into the pirate armsman squad that's out in the open over here. All right, he can auto in up to six targets. Which one is your primary target? Or the one in the middle. Uh, the I'm gonna say middle? the closest one. Yeah. This guy, just to clarify. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, full auto is plus twenty one success or one extra hit per degree success up to six because of the weapon yeah. he has. Make your roll, please. 
I believe you're looking at 55. Okay. Rolling. So ballistic skill is a 35, so yeah. That is one degree of success. They so... said it was a 55, so that should oh, be two. Oh, no, you're right. I apologize. It's two degrees, so that's three hits total. Three hits. So first one will hit him, and you rolled a 33. That is going to go in the body. Go ahead and make your first attack, or excuse me, first damage roll. Okay, and that's just a d10 plus... Two, I believe. Two with pen, with three. pen three. All right, okay. So we roll... Six. Why is it... These things are stupid. Can I delete them? Uh, they it's because I controlled be Z earlier. So first clear it, and then extra okay. dice, we just delete okay. them. And then it'll respawn the dice. But I will take right, that cool. four plus two. Yeah. Uh, so that's six. Six, uh, pen three. Pen three, three armor, uh, four, so that's seven. He eats it. The bullet just, it doesn't do anything. Okay. Second uh, bullet. I, it, on the same target? Same target. Yeah, same result. And third bullet. Oh. Uh, Aren't you forgetting he's got man stopper bullets? That's why he has pen three. Okay. Uh, five does change it slightly. So let's see. So three on the body to the five seven. That's four. Yeah, his four toughness eats the remaining damage. So yeah, again. Okay. So yeah, the dude takes a three round burst more or less to the chest, and he's just like, "That fucking hurts. I'm gonna rip your head off now." He should be at least taking fatigue damage, even uh... if you. Am I crazy? Fatigue isn't down, uh, isn't tracked as much in this in this system as it is in like only war. Am I crazy? I thought fatigue still. I'm was not going to argue. It, it's it's. I know it certainly was in Dark Heresy. Yeah. Fatigue two fifty one. Is fatigue in here? Yep. All right. Not all injuries in Rogue Trader are lethal. Exhaustion, combat, trauma, or swapping licks with bare fists can leave a character battered, but more or less intact. So how much Characters fatigue gain damage? fatigue yeah. from certain types of attacks, critical effects, blah, blah, blah. Character can take a number of levels of fatigue equal to toughness bonus and still function. So he can take up to four fatigue before he has to start making rolls to stay in it. Is that what, that, what I'm hearing with that? Yes. Okay. How much fatigue damage has he taken? That's With what I'm taking trying to three figure shots out. All of a sudden, because I feel like he's gonna take at least one, possibly two. I think. I think you take fatigue every time you get hit, but I'm gonna check that first. And it sounds like my initial thought was three fatigue, but it may only just be one, maybe two. I don't so have it open because I'm keeping in the, playing the game, keeping the screen or the camera on the tabletop, so I'm not alt tabbing as often. There we go, fatigue. That's the page I'm on. Damn it! <laughs> Certain types of attacks. Well, what kinds of attacks are they? There should Dumbass be a, book. a chart or something. What pa what page are you on? I'm on page 251 and 252 of the PDF. All right. Teague, characteristic damage. Uh, let's see. Fatigue is measured in levels. A character can take a number of levels of fatigue damage equal to his dead. It should a character take a number. Yeah. Yep, but not all injuries. Characters gain fatigue from certain types of attacks. I guess these critical effects, grappling, and other specific actions throughout the book will list when fatigue damage is applied. So the next question then would be, let's do it tomorrow. Let's do it tomorrow. Get to bed. Yeah, I'm... Uh, I'm probably remembering the Dark Heresy rules. Because it doesn't look like normal attacks deal fatigue in this. Yeah, I think the fatigue system for this game is a little bit different because you guys are somewhat more robust, for lack of a better word. Fair enough. Uh, which is why I didn't really give it much thought. Uh, when a character's yep. fatigued, any... Yep, 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 I got that. 
looking for the full auto. Looks like it's just on that critical hits table. Uh, being on fire also gives you a tick of yeah, fatigue. Fire yes, fire does give you fatigue. I do recall that from a stream I had watched. Not a stream, a, a series I had watched. Uh, Makes sense. Double checking the full I'd be auto pretty specifically. After being on fire. I'm so, sorry? what'd you say, uh, Carlos? That makes sense. I'd be pretty knackered after being on fire, too. <laughs> I'd be pretty well It's smoked. not pleasant. I would definitely be smoked. All right, let me stop that bullshit. Okay. All right. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. Being I was wondering on fire certainly it warrants a crisp response. So, uh, he got hit a bunch, but... He yeah, apparently, beyond, beyond becoming inf infuriated, I almost said infatuated, that's not the right word. <laughs> oh, my. Wait, wait a minute. Did... <laughs> Did the uh, degrees of success add damage onto his stuff as well? Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? Just so we're clear. That well, I, added... I, I, I got the three shots, but I... I we added three. One... So you got... Okay. So the first hit was seven damage, then six damage, and then eight damage. Even the eight damage was eaten up. It if I think if you had rolled a six or higher, the damage would have actually okay. gotten through. Because Fair of enough. what's left of the armor and his four toughness. Yes. The toughness bonus helps. A lot, actually. It does. <laughs> uh, so that guard, uh, that armsman is done, and we're on to the next yep. guy. Which I'm Sorry that took so long. Yeah, no worries. My apologies. Get rid of the uh, this one? white dice next to him, yes. Okay. He's going to do the you've same already, thing. You've already gotten rid of the white, nice, the white dice next to the first guy. Put that one back. Oh. That was the second one I removed. Yeah, whatever. No, That's fine. It's all going to be gone by the end of the round anyway. Yep. That is a fail. That's a miss. Number okay. three. Same thing. I'm assuming same thing. Yep. That is two degrees of success. So two degrees of success. Hits. So that's the three hits. Uh, 1d10 plus all two, right. three pen. And I believe we established that a six or higher is going to actually do something. So that's going to be a That's no. That's going to... Jesus no. Christ. No. These, these all suck. Yeah. Sorry, brother. It's all right. <laughs> Bro. Yes? If I may make a suggestion, uh, what's his name? Reinhardt. Mm -hmm. Already has a very, very high uh, rating. Why don't you give your plus 10 to somebody else? I will now that the heavy gunner is absolutely dead. Yeah, oh yeah. The, okay. That heavy All gunner right. has two large bullet holes in his body. Sarge's turn next. Okay. So I'm going to, I got to remove his white die. Sarge one. also gets two degrees of success. Yep, so that's three rounds hitting. Okay, come on. <laughs> High roll. Not rolling down <laughs> off the nine to the five. <laughs> I should not be laughing so hard. And a four. <laughs> a deal. And a two. <laughs> Fuck this. Warner, I am so sorry, man. The ducks have shat on you three fucking times in a what, row like you... that. And I'm so sorry, Cassian. dude. You gave them auto pistols and carapace armor, and you expected any other outcome than what we're having right now? That's uh, fine. Cassian's going next. I was really hoping you guys would just somehow magically walk, just wipe the floor with these bastards. And Cassian's going to miss, because that's the way my rolls have all gone tonight. Except for my <laughs> personal rolls. Let me get rid of this little white die here. Okay. All right. Wh how, which guardsman is next? Armsman, I should say. God damn it. That's, um, it's into Borgadillo. Oh, okay. we named the, the lieutenant? Yeah, it's yes. it's that one guardsman, armsman, from like one of the first couple episodes that we identified as Anders. So I'm just going to go left to right? Okay. So okay. The white, well, I think, I think the white guy's going to run us to go Since he's named, it means he's probably going to survive. Huh. Possibly. But right. This white die, by the way, unless Rodance, um, oh yeah, that sprinted again. That white that yeah. die needs to go. Away. Yeah, no, you're right. Um, I was thinking the same thing. So let's just go left to right. Uh, left to right. Just to be clear, this is the first guy on the left, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
and I'm basically doing the same thing as for the first three. I'm definitely doing the same thing as um, Reinhardt. Warner. Yeah, Warner. All right, fifty fives. That's nope. a miss. Next. What? Also, nope. Jesus. Next. It's off, it's off the. T it was off the. Also, nope. Ah, okay, so we're up to these two now. Correct. Mm -hmm. Are they doing anything different? Um, I was debating having them move, but with the number of misses, it can't hurt to get more misses. <laughs> Same thing. I'm assuming they're also full auto. Jesus Christ. I haven't gotten anything even close to a 50. Warner, you might should have rolled for these two. Holy balls. 390s and 270s. That's ridiculous. Better get them out of the way for the guys with auto pistols. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, Captain, where do you want me? Uh, it's Jeff. Jeff is... You, you have Jeff do what Jeff thinks he should be doing. Okay. Jeff is not particularly brave, so he is going to... Cause I had thought about moving him over to take on that flank by himself, but he's not that brave. Just outside of reach. Ooh. Well, he he would he would move forward and shoot at what everyone else is shooting at. Yeah, I think whole that's hail much, of bullets, not doing anything. Uh, to there. Uh, the shot cannon, which has a, a three round burst, but he moves, so he can only do single shot. Uh, with a range of forty. Not quite. You, you do realize. I'm, I'm just going to say for the record, Omar. You do realize that only power armor is better for regular infantry than what you gave these guys. Oh no, it's okay. I may have goofed. They're, it's fine. I'm going to be. I've already taken some things into account from observations tonight. So, for instance, the other three encounter or other two encounters are going to be condensed into one additional encounter uh, after this fight is done. Put it like that. Because otherwise we'll never make it to Magaros and recover this treasure ship. Um, let's see, Bliss Skill 38. Hey, if it takes time, it just means more opportunity for roleplay. No, you're right, but also I don't want to spend nine years to get through the first segmentum when I have I like, say, six like, or seven like, We others. still only have auto pistols, so like they're not, they're not dangerous. They're just like really <laughs> annoying turtles. Yeah. Uh, the Ogren misses, and it is... Wait, did I give him fate points? Yeah, he's so, fated to miss like the rest of them. No, that's, that's also fair. All right, squad one, the flankers. Uh, let's see. Keep on running, I guess. Yeah. Hey, hold on. Was it 18? Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. They are probably not facing the right way, so I'll fix that in a moment. Oh, I just realized the person with the least amount of armor here, there's only one person on the table I know of wearing flak armor. Who's that? Our sanction psyker. Uh -huh. Winter. So literally someone who is blessed and equipped by the Emperor themselves is more poorly armored <laughs> than a bunch of ragtag pirates. Well, she's got... She's got, uh... Faith of the... Got emperor in her. He doesn't need all that. Her um, armor is contempt. My armor is I. Uh, I make use of you know. Standing next to Reinhardt and this lovely bit of cover. <laughs> yeah. As Reinhardt, I have action. Reinhardt is your cover. <laughs> and then I uh, sustain my psycho power. I frankly can't figure out if I'm supposed to make another willpower check to sustain or spend a half action to sustain. You I don't understand. A partial action to sustain. I don't yeah. think you have to re-roll. Okay. Well, I just keep sustaining. Has anyone become pinned? Because no. I have did trouble. You, did you just take that. another turn? Because I, th I thought it wasn't your turn. I'm confused. Oh, wait. 
I thought it was. Sorry, sorry. I was just making the note no, that you have. I have the is. absolutely most boringest actions ever. So for me, it's like, okay, well, it doesn't really matter if it's my turn or not. Yeah, what, it's. What's, uh, what's the uh, what's the yeah. two hit malice on them now that they've ran? Uh, minus, minus 10. 20. 20. It, oh, 20. Yes. 20? And Fuck. they take a minus 20 on their next shot because they just ran. Unless at the next turn, they do a half action to cancel that. No, that's not in the running. Running just is a minus 20, mm. minus 20, right? Correct. That's fine. And it's aiming like is a... only a plus 10, so they'd still be at a minus 10. Well, no, no. I don't think running incurs a penalty at all to you. I think it occurs the penalty to it's other people. It's for them to shoot. I or no, it, it is. It is both. It it works both ways. Okay. Uh, Icarus, it's your turn. I'm gonna I'm gonna fall out of this guy who's not in cover. <laughs> nice. Which one? Not fall out, but but some out because it's it's a hell. Uh, it's the hell gun with a two round burst max, right? Mm -hmm. It's three. Uh, if I recall, yeah, you the hell pistol 10. is two. Hell gun is three. Oh, which one is it? Gun. He has the, he has a full hell gun. Okay, so it's a. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. It should be plus ten for range. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're doing full auto, you said, or semi auto. Uh, semi auto burst, yeah. Yep. So that's plus ten again. So that's twenty. Mm -hmm. So I think you're looking I'm at. Going... I think it's a 62, 63 Is your ballistic? Would 60, that... uh, my base is 41, so plus 20 would be 61. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... Yeah, running has no impact on you other than moving. It's literally um, when people shoot or attack you that it makes the changes. Ah, uh, okay. So it doesn't matter. All they can turn around melee attacks that are the other side. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, plus 30, Icaros, if I'm understanding yeah, correctly. Yeah, I'm spending a fake point to make it to 30. Um, right, so now so you're at 71? Yes. Uh, to clarify, which one are you shooting? You're shooting this guy? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Semi-auto, three-round burst. 71 is your target. Make your roll when you're ready, please. That is Shit. six degrees of success on one of the most powerful weapons in the game. <laughs> what uh, is your damage, sir? Uh... 1d10 plus 5. So that's going to be 1d10 plus 11. What's the pen? 7. Actually, their armor four. doesn't exist. It should be 7 pen on a hell gun. Uh, no, the uh, the damage is 1d10 plus 4. I, 1d10 plus, plus 4? Yeah. Uh, plus that's 6 degrees, so that's going to be plus 10 total damage. Uh, verifying your hit location is a 51... Which is the body, so that's six. Yeah, their armor is negated completely, so they're going to have a four points of toughness bonus. Make your 1d10 plus 10 damage, please. First On roll. The first round of two that you get. That's 12 damage. Uh, that should be 18 minus four is 14 damage. Yep, 14 damage. I apologize. I oh, Well, that guy's just dead. Uh, Goodbye. Two inches. Second round can hit that guy. Okay. <laughs> Seven. So that'll be 13 damage. Correct. Uh, that will take him down to five wounds. And that then is... the third one, I'll just hit him again. Oh, you had three rounds, didn't you? Yep. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're going to hit the same second guy? Yep. All right. Uh, he's dead. Don't roll. I'll Goodbye. GM, I'll GM whatever the, the math difference was there and just be like, yep, he's dead. <laughs> he gets... Fairly well. He gets obliterated uh, by Hellgun laser power energy fire. And that will take it up to... Squad Reinhardt two. gives him a quick, appreciative smile. <laughs> that was some good shooting. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have blesses. Let's see. Oh, these guys are kind of well fucked at the at this moment so they're going to what is their pull action six inches i'm gonna put them there i know it's not quite straight line distance but it'll come out to six inches somehow so i'm just gonna do a gm hand roll here and just kind of scoot these guys close to six inches scooched 
And they're not going to be firing because they're doing... Uh, and then that will end this turn. And given the time, I'm going to save the table for next round, or uh -huh. next week. But it's only 11.30. Yes, um, it is. I have a quick question. I have answers. Um, what, would it, what would it take for us to climb up and over cover instead of going around it? Uh, I was going to say, for these narrow boxes, I, I would think it would be a possibility, but the big ones probably not. I think the way that we can mitigate that is if you... It will be like really, so it'll be a half action to okay. climb up and over. So if you're only half action move and then something else, you're on the obstacle or if on a full action, you can clear it and go to the other side. Sounds fair. Does that seem reasonable to everybody given the size of everything? And I realize some of this stuff may not necessarily be the most. Some of these bigger barrels and whatnot might not be so easily traversed like that, but I think as a simple rule, half action to go over, full action to, or half action to climb, full action to go over. Does that make sense to everybody? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. On that note, I know you guys want some more combat. I definitely enjoyed where we were going with that, other than the fact that I was effectively losing the fight, uh, despite the... <laughs> piddly damage amounts that are going back and forth. Uh, but I definitely enjoyed it. Bro dance? Woo we'll start our outro... Oh, before I do that, go ahead and take 200 points of experience for the session. Yeah. 200! I should really start expending some of the XP. I have six... I, well, now I have 1850 sitting here. Uh, yeah, you definitely should. <laughs> I will, however... Caveat that 200 experience points. The two, there is a. The 200 points that you just got cannot be spent right now because you are still moving between sessions in the middle of combat. That would okay. be my only okay. restriction. So, okay. for instance, uh, not to spend. Yeah, Alturios, you just said you have something like 1800. You could spend up to 1600. Okay. Uh, and I will be okay with that. Rodance, let's start with you for feedback and outro -y comments. What do you got for us? Well. Um, I'm going to be so happy when I get access to some of the other Psyker disciplines, because telekinesis sounds like it would be awesome. What do you need to unlock or open up these other disciplines? Is rank, it just... like, five. Rank five? I, I honestly, I'd have to double check, but it is a higher rank. It's not actually it's something I just buy. Okay. Because yeah, if I I'm can not hope, mistaken... okay? Well, if I'm not mistaken, doesn't the astropath get access to telepathy and one additional? No. Am I crazy for thinking that? Because I could have sworn that was in the rules. Or maybe it was two powers that you get for free starting. Yeah, it's the two powers that okay, I already have. Maybe that's what I was I've already bought other powers. I literally can't even buy more powers because you're only allowed to take that option twice. Right. Okay. There yeah, are so... other Psyker... What is, what's what's the word used in the book? Domains? Disciplines. Disciplines. Mm -hmm. There are other Psyker disciplines. We'll just have to port them over from Only War. Well, I can't buy into any of them until I get the thing that lets me buy a Psyker discipline. Yeah, yeah. And that's not until rank 3. Well, that's not terribly they've... far away, because you guys should be right on the verge of rank 2 already. 7,000 XP is the start of rank 2. 7... That's... 7K. So that's total... Total well, that, you XP gotta keep in mind, and you started He's been five. giving us only 200 instead of the regular 500 per session. Correct. Mm hmm So. And that... Is that is 500 recommended in the book? Is that what it says? Yes. I may have to think, rethink my XP awards then. I mean, if you're purposely going slower through the sessions and want to stretch it out longer, then it makes sense if you're planning on things taking longer. Yeah, no, that you're right on that one. And I think given our current pace and the fact that this is episode eight for what theoretically could have been a two to four session adventure, maybe 200 isn't so bad. Honestly, I think this first portion, sticking at 200 makes sense because getting the hang of everything is kind of rough since it's so different than what like I've seen before. Right. But 
once we get into the groove of it, I expect you will be able to pick up that XP granting because our stuff will start moving faster because we'll understand how things work and how we work together. Yeah, there is that too. And there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, rough edges that we're still smoothing yep. away. Like combat is moving a little bit faster. People know what they want to do a little bit faster. They know what modifiers to start applying. <laughs> Uh, especially I do, uh, although there are some side small rules, like the fire, for instance, that I'm not keeping up with all the time. Fatigue is not something that we've really dealt with yet. Um, but yeah, no, I think we're getting there, yeah. though. I think we're definitely Rank 3 there. is at 10k. 10k? Okay. Yep. So rank 2 is not terribly far off, because that's only yep. 2,000 additional experience points, and if Icarus is sitting at 18-something, that's only another es- uh, episode or two away, getting rank 2 stuff, so... Yeah. I have 6850 yeah. total. So I assume that by the end of next episode, I can be ranked too. Yeah, and I will say the only thing that will stop you from being able to spend those XPs is if we are literally in the middle of a combat or other similar type scenario preventing reasonable use of downtime to increase your yep. abilities. Fair enough. Uh, Rodance, did you have anything else you wanted to throw out there? We kind of hijacked some of your airtime i think i am going to be spending an awful lot of time watching everyone else do things (laughs) until i move into 30 feet uh, until i move into 30 range because i actually do have a sidearm i just can't really do anything when they're a lot extra far away because my weapons and ballistic skill just is not as good as some of the others and well, the third squad in there was within 30 of you. Let me see. Eh, yeah. Well, they also wanted to start the Psyker Power and move into different um, cover, so I should be able to next the, round. The furthest... The machine gunner from your current position, the machine gunner's position is 43. That's uh, considered medium range, no modifiers. Okay. So the yeah, way the range so... bracket works is similar to Traveler. Whatever the range stat is, it's either half of that or double that. Anything in between is normal. No modifier. Yeah. Based on range. Anyway. Like, these people are sort of chilling. Mm-hmm. And I don't like standing here right now. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a reason why that group decided to flank you. Yep. Tactically speaking, it was a smart move for them. While the fact that there was... a you know, a machine gun up over here, and then there's another squad over here catching your attention. Yeah. They're doing the the machine gunner and this squad over here, squad three. They're doing what the military would call uh, support by fire, while the flankers are the actual aggressors. They keep you busy and distracted while the flankers move up on you. Anyway, uh, they are doing what the military might deem acceptable casualties. What they're doing is they're going to die. I, I, as the GM, knowing especially Reinhardt and the Ogren and the fact that the Psyker gets going well enough uh, psychically, these guys are literally going to run into a wall and fucking die. Hey, I, sh- I killed a couple. You did. Rodance, you got anything else? I got to stop trying to hijack your guys' speaking time, but... Sorry. Mm. We're going to have an interesting amount of combat left. Yes, I've already dumped effectively one of the two additional uh, scenarios that we're going to follow this. I think the next one we're going to go to the quote-unquote climax of the ship raid. To the bridge! Yep. Warner! What you got for us? Feedback? Outro? Um, I'm enjoying myself. Uh, The armor plus toughness bonus making people's guns less than ideal is hilarious. Um, <laughs> I may have but, goofed. I apologize. But that's okay. Um, that is a... Four is a good toughness bonus. That's, that's my toughness bonus, and I've I've got a pretty good toughness. So Yeah. And... I, Full, clo- full disclosure, grabbing these particular guys using their particular stats and equipment might have been uh, a smidge tougher than what you guys should have been facing. But also, yeah. I think one thing that we're getting is they're not as huge of a threat as they could be. Correct. Because of the weaponry. Yeah. 
Yeah. They're just and, incredibly difficult, and maybe not incredibly, but they are more difficult difficult than beginner level in defeating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just, what's going to happen? From... I think is you're gonna you guys are gonna kind of reinforce some of the basics as far as how yeah. to do the combat. So it yeah, does well, kind of work out. It just wasn't entirely my intent to do it that way. What we have okay. discovered is that the choice of hell guns and bolters were indeed wise choices. Yes, that <laughs> is definitely true. That is absolutely getting reinforced. Hell guns and bolters are amazing weapons. Everything else is mediocre at best. Plasma's pretty cool too. Yeah, <laughs> heavy stubbers. Those are nice. <laughs> but so, I just want to point out, like. In the lore, from what I'm aware of and mm -hmm. what I've seen, like unless they're super, unless we're gonna find that this is like the lead ship for pirates in the entire sector, they should be wearing leather, furs, and chainmail. You're probably right. And again, again, full disclosure, and, and, and I grabbed these stats and didn't really yeah, put a lot of thought I, into I'm what just, it should I'm, be I'm just for saying, the lore. For, so that you can know, just just for reference, yeah. that's two to three armor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I did like the way that you dealt with with cover, uh, particularly the giving it hit points. Yeah, so yeah. That, that I, it's I, not I, just that was permanently nice. there. That's nice. What did you say, Rav? Yeah. You, you didn't like that. Is that what you said? No, no. I was saying that's fine. Um, um, did we lose Rev, or is he still thinking? No, no. I'm here. Okay. No, I was just saying that's that's fine. I was just saying like. In addition to refining what's going to happen with the rest of combat, uh -huh. please please come up with an above the table reason of why these guys had phenomenally amazing equipment for pirates. Okay. I may have to do a little bit of hand wave and a little bit of retcon, but I will come up with a half these. In fact, I'll just say that the ship that they hit before this was a lost, uh, probably an imperial military ship of some sort. It was lost, separated from its mother convoy. And they were ace they were somehow able to unexpectedly and not naturally overpower mm. it. Like maybe they had just, just, just remember. Just remember that when we kill them, we get to loot their bodies. Sure. So if you would like to hand wave and say I did Yeah, so if you want to hand wave and say, like, hey, I picked the wrong equipment, let's finish this combat and next time I'll know better, that might be a safer option for you. Another one is Rodan's is about to get Carapace time? armor. Yeah. <laughs> Rodan, could you repeat that? Because I think I missed you, like the first you half might, of that. You statement. might be better off just hand waving and say, "Hey, I accidentally picked the wrong equipment for this. Uh -huh. Let's just finish this combat, and I'll adjust the rest of them." Yeah. Because otherwise, you're handing us multiple squads worth of really, really good equipment once we loot their bodies. But you know, also maybe no, I'm totally making this up. I but I could make an argument. Maybe this was my plan because I know you guys were trying to make your own murder death skill. That murder death kill squad. And I'm trying to find a way to skirt the system to get them good gear. There we go. How about that one? Let's go with that. I'm going to dub it. I'm going to hand wave it. That's lore now. It's been canonized. <laughs> the lore I was gonna is say, the, uh, the I wouldn't it's been give. canonized. Like, like... When do they start preaching? What's that? Oh. Hey, hey, hey. I don't, we don't need them to start preaching. My character is perfectly happy to do that. <laughs> Yay! Well, to be fair, being made canon and being canonized are a little bit different. No, I know. I know. But I mean, they're still I'm good. I, Listen, I can grab a soapbox anytime. Okay. You're just probably not going to want to hear what I have to say. Uh, Warner, did you have anything else? I think we. I think you were the last one nope. and I kind of got stranded or uh, pulled we're, off again. We're good. Okay. Uh, I thank you for the cover and arm, uh, the, the crates and cover and all that stuff that I kind of winged it. I know the one thing I don't, I'm not going to say I don't like the cover system in Warhammer games, but it's different than the, where it makes it harder to hit. It just gives you additional armor to work with. I like the idea of making it harder for you to be hit personally, mm -hmm. but it's something I'm getting used to because as I think about it, you know, maybe standing behind a concrete wall for five or six rounds is going to keep you alive, but eventually those bullets are going to punch through if they're making a concerted effort to pin you there. Uh, so I guess it makes sense to give you additional armor for so long as that cover lasts, which then is why I started throwing dice onto the table and be like, all right, well, this is how many hit points these fuckers have. Good luck. Because also, 
now you guys have to be aware of, wow, this crate does not look structurally sound. I should probably move. Um, Alterios. Yeah, that's good. I was going to say, with the cover, there's probably going to be an entire round of rotating. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, Melt guns for when you want to ignore cover. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about it. Not um, ignore cover, but melt a gun for when you don't want there to be cover. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Alterios, what kind of feedback, outro y comments you got for us, my friend? Um, It's kind of fun having combat again. Uh, um, I, I once again uh, somewhat miss my uh, salamander. <laughs> don't blame me for that. I can imagine uh, yeah, this map. Fun. I can imagine this map with like three or four Space Marines of any chapter, and it would just be like, "Well, that was a good little snack. Are we ready for the warm up now?" <laughs> <laughs> They're using auto pistols. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, brother, look, they tickle. <laughs> I'll tell you, you got anything else, brother? Uh, no. Good job as always. Thanks. Hello, Darius. What do you got for us, my friend? Who or what? Are you there? I can't tell if he froze on the screen or not. He looks like he froze. He he Just does look rather frozen. It, well, and like, I mean, literally, like, froze. just a moment ago, he was taking a drink, and it looks like he's actually in the act of setting the cup down. It when does he froze. look that way. Uh, well, he's either frozen or extremely still. He's he's doing he's a practicing. What, what's oh, oh, there, oh, he there, there he goes. DC, there, he goes. there you go. What was Zoom just crashed on me? He says in chat there. What what what's the character in um, Guardians of the Galaxy? Dave Bautista plays him. Drax is that his name? Drax. Yeah. Yes. He's pretending Drax to be Drax. the Destroyer. Yeah. Ah, there he is. He's back. Darius, what do you got for us, my friend? Well, we also have to wait for him to finish connecting. But... Well, I'm connected. Okay. All right. Good. You're good. Um, what was I gonna say? Feedback, outro. Yeah. Is there a chance that we can make these longer? The combat stuff? No, the sessions. Uh, unfortunately, I I'm gonna try to maximize the three hours that we do have for the gameplay. Uh, but. One. Yeah, you're you're pushing one one a.m. for me right now. So like, yeah, there's, that's, there's no there's way that. this is going any longer. Uh, if we could make the outros quicker, like that was we've spent thirty minutes on outros. Yeah, we could also focus on getting into the action a little faster. This is true. Yeah, these are and these are all frankly these are all things I've been thinking about too because we do spend a little bit of extra time bullshitting on both ends of the episode. And Not that I, to be clear. I'm okay with that because I like showing not just the game, but the players as far as the stream is concerned. But when it does come to game time, it does reduce play time. So. It's not my fault yeah. your table's bad and can't handle dice rolling. It's not my <laughs> fault that you can't handle taking shitty rolls and rolling with it. Also, that applies to Warner because he did take a bunch of shitty rolls, but I'm not trying to I, say that because Warner I, actually did that. Did take that as a gentleman. He's like, uh, I guess that's why. No, I'm no, tonight. that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like at the beginning of the game when when the table messed up. Oh well, that. <laughs> okay. The game apparently has a limit at somewhere around 400 plus or minus 50 dice being rolled at once. How about that? Darius, did you have anything else before I have to check in with Rev and see how many more gray hairs um, I, I'm going to get? I enjoyed the combat. Uh, in spite of me missing every shot. <laughs> you got a kill or two, didn't you? I thought no. you did. I missed you got every damage shot. on. I thought you got damage on at least one of them. I thought you did. Maybe nope. it was the first. I, maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. Nope, I missed every shot. Sometimes the dice do be that way. Yeah, let yeah. me tell you about a game called Blood Bowl. <laughs> God damn, let's not talk about what I'm dice can do to you in that not game. Not gonna lie, that's one of the reasons I have gone out of the way to jack my ability to hit so high. <laughs> Don't blame you. Not one bit, man. And you have the title of Arch Militant. 
that just means you're supposed to be able to shoot shit. Or at least yeah. slice shit. One of the two. Anything oh, else? Omar, before, before you get to Rev, please look at the chat. Uh Oh, this uh, Zoom chat? Yes, the Zoom chat. I noticed chat. a moment ago that there was something in there. Oh, that's so nice. Cool. That's UGM in a zoo. Your players are monkeys, and we see Rev Flood Blue. <laughs> And you posted that right after we got started, too. Oh, come on, yes. Rev. Why are you... All right. I'm done with the table. <laughs> Warner, thank I mean, you so much. I really appreciate that. That, that was really that awesome. That is the equivalent of flinging pool, huh? Yeah. That is that is really nice. Thank you, my friend. Mm -hmm. Rev, what do you got for me, man? The, t the table's not working anymore. What happened? I don't know. I don't know. Uh -huh. It's weird. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's weird. It's so weird. Hey, Omar. Yeah. What's the password? Oh, God, fuck <laughs> off, you guys. God, I hate you. You know the new password is going to be, hey, Omar, right? <laughs> well, it can't be that now because you just announced it on a broadcast. But I'm just going to change it. The password's going to be fucking password or something equally dumb. No, no, no. It needs to be what? That when we say what's the password, you say yes. <laughs> You know he's gonna add some extra unpleasant letters and special characters now every time we poke at this. Right. Oh yeah, just like Rev trying to add additional accoutrements to his name. Every time you so, ask so, me, so I'm gonna is, change what, the what password. Full name? Oh god. It, it's okay. I never, I never actually type the password anyway. I just copy paste from the pin comment. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We can make some of random. We can make Borgadio's full name the password. Oh no. <laughs> I see some trolly anti trolly activity going on here. I don't I like think it. you guys know like my full name with <laughs> titles. Oh, let me go get it. <laughs> yeah, I literally no, just no. asked you to say no. it out loud. No. no. Okay, hold on, hold on. I gotta wrap this show before you guys get totally fucking crazy here. Come on, Rev. I need some feedback. Outro comments. Come on. Well, you you kind of got them for me about the like. Oh yeah. You being. Did pedantic lore about the armor yeah no i that is something i'm gonna have to pay a little bit more attention to because i kind of rolled with it and didn't really give it much thought of you know is this armor too powerful is, are these weapons too weak for the armor they're shooting at fortunately the net result of what i did hit the table is that they're not terribly dangerous it's just taking longer to kill them which is okay they're a bunch of and, and by girls. the way, even if they'd raided an Imperial Army transport, Omar, mm -hmm. they would have gotten a, a shipment of flak armor, not care of us. Yes, actually, it would have been flak. Yeah, I hear you. Listen, I, I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Okay, I'm new to the system was, too. I was, tr I was, tr <laughs> if you, I was trying to tee you up to be like, oh yeah, this was a bunch of henchmen for the other rogue trader trying to. Sure. We can go. Listen, it doesn't have to be imperial military of any sort. I know. That, I know that. I was trying to. I was trying to give you an out for how this is connected <laughs> to the to. Yeah. What's his name? It, it's Winter Scales. Uh, it was a shipment bound for Winter Scales realm. No, no. I was saying these are actually these aren't really pirates. They're Death Fingers men, and. Oh, you mean Hatterack Fell? Yeah, Fell Ham. Yeah, they're. Dead fingers. I, I was being. Yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> Dead fingers. Oh my god. Rev, do you have anything else? I'm so scared to ask. Well, actually, now that you mention it. Oh, no. All right. I'm doing my outro now. A friend that is, is always it. welcome okay. at the show. Uh, there, there is one other thing. Go ahead, Darius. Please help me. I look, forward, I look forward to the day when we have the full squad of people with hell guns. <laughs> That's going to be fucking scary, man. 1d10 <laughs> plus what, 5 is it? Is the base damage? 1d10 plus 4, four. and 7 pen. The 7 pen is what really does it. Cause it just, yeah, because it that, cause uh, no, that wipes no out armor. most armor short of firing on like space marines space or marine. fucking demons or some shit. Well, yeah. What really blows my mind is that a bolt weapon has less pin than a hell gun. That, yeah. that is a little weird to me too, especially given the fact that the bullet is a literal, literal RPG. The, the whole the whole the point of does a higher on average damage because you're rolling two d ten and taking the better. Yeah. So the the pen is 
lessened for game balance mechanics. Yep. I, I can see that. Exactly lore stuff. <laughs> yeah, because the lore is absolutely this shit penetrates and then it explodes and it sends all of your body parts in every direction. And then there's organ grinders, which is even worse. So, yeah. No, I got you. All right, well, that is it here for us tonight. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out. If you enjoyed the show, please consider liking and subscribing either here on twitch.tv slash Omar Krieg or on youtube.com slash at Omar Krieg. Please also consider joining the Discord server, the link for which you can find in the description below if you're watching this on uh, YouTube. And if you're watching it on Twitch, before I end the stream, you can hit exclamation point Discord and that will give you a link for the Discord server in the chat. Lastly, of course, feel free to leave comments and likes on the YouTube video. I'll be sure to answer within a reasonable time frame if you do leave a comment. Otherwise, that is it for us here tonight. Stay safe out there, my friends. This world is a grim, dark world. So make sure you're doing what you got to do to take care of you and yours. As for me and mine, we're out of here. Have a good night. See you next time. Later. Bye.